<laughs> it's like, would you eat healthier? Would you be healthier? Would you drink less? It's like, voice. Voice is definitely <laughs> what's been holding me back all these years. I would Number have one. a lot more money if I could change something about myself. That's the thing. If I had more money, I would do something about my voice. That'd be funny as shit. That'd be funny. There's like, probably a surgery for that. There, there has to be. There's a surgery for everything. Because imagine being like the most like, oh yeah, completely fit person ever, completely successful, but you have like one of those just like, you sound like the receptionist from Ghostbusters. You're like, huh, Ghostbusters, what do you want? You're just like, oh, is there any way I could surgically get rid of my accent? Yeah, I, I heard they... Matt Rife got the surgery. <laughs> that, that dude just looks like surgery. Sorry. That He's dude, got a ton of work done, but it's like... That dude just the idea, looks like I'm going to start surgery. a rumor that he got a voice-changing surgery. That's funny. That dude is young <laughs> as fuck. Like, I don't... Some, something about him. is weird. He might be funny, but I, I don't know. I can't watch him. Do you... I don't know. He bugs me. I'm old, but there, used, there was this comedian that was around, I want to say the late 80s, early 90s. His name was Vince Champ. And he was, like, a black dude, completely clean comedian, kind of riding, like, the, the Cosby coattails. And, like, he would actually, Uh-oh. like, lecture other comedians saying, like, like other, other black comedians saying, like, look, you doing this dirty material is making us look bad, yada, yada, yada. And they synced up this thing, like, they solved, like, a series of unsolved rapes across the country. It was Cosby? Because it lined up with Vince Champ's tour schedule. So he would go to a, like a random town, stop, rape, lecture a black kid about saying cuss words on the, on the stage, and then go to the next town and just do the same shit over and over again. I was just like, Jesus Christ. I think in a couple years, Matt Reif, we're going to find out he did something like on oh, par with okay. or even worse. Like, I don't know, orphanage arson <laughs> You know, He's responsible for what's going on in Canada right now. <laughs> <laughs> he lit the match. He's just in every time he bombs, he like throws gasoline on it so that everyone's distracted. Well, now Manitoba bombs. must suffer. Yeah, <laughs> <He's> just... <laughs> and you get to see a bunch of people around him while he's flicking a lighter at a fucking maple tree. I'm like, hey, could you not do that? And he's just like, no, nah, I'm gonna do it. Like, how about you don't, buddy? And he's nah. like, nah, gotta do it. <laughs> he, he loosened a bolt on the on the submarine. <laughs> just one. <laughs> Yeah, he stole the remote control. <laughs> he, rem- he didn't steal the remote, but he did take the back off the battery part and then throw it away in every house he's ever been to. He replaced the PS2 controller with a Mad Cat's controller. <laughs> I don't know what that means at all. Okay, I wasn't laughing because I have no fucking clue what that means. I don't either. Back, um, the, those are like the Walmart like second player controllers. Um, like if you go to somebody's house, like here, oh. this one's for you. Oh, the knockoff. Basically. Yes, yes, yeah. exactly. I always do that shit with Nintendo controllers when I was a little kid back in 1980. <laughs> Fuck, I'm old. <laughs> yeah, just like, yo, know, here's a shitty one that wobbles. But I think that dude, like, in a couple years, people are going to, they're, they're going to solve some shit. Um, we'll see. I don't want to accuse him of anything <laughs> other than being annoying to, I accidentally I watched, co-sign. I accidentally watched, like, one video and now on, like, Facebook every morning. Oh, every morning now I wake up, I watch a bit video of Matt Rife. And I start watching it, and I just get... So, I'm, like, so addict... Like, I'm the perfect... I'm the target audience for the being addicted to, like, the Stuff. thing that just starts playing, and you start watching it. It, got, is, it got me, too, because uh, I was just going through... I watched, like, two YouTube specials in a row, and then the next thing to come up was a Matt Rife special of the one called um, OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. And I was like, fuck it, let's give it a shot, whatever. And I ended up sitting through the whole thing. The whole time I'm just looking, I'm like, something's not right. Something's off about this guy. And I just couldn't place it. Like, I couldn't tell you a single fucking joke I heard. The whole time I'm just <laughs> you like... You could say this about any comedian, right? Like, and you'll be right, like, in five, in ten but years. But normally... The you could be like... <laughs> you could, you know what I mean? Like, it's, you could say, we could say that about 20 comedians right now, and two of, that, two uh, of them would be right. It's true. <laughs> comedians are, like, rough people. But... Like, normally the jokes are funny enough that you can overlook that weird thing. Whereas that guy, I don't know. I don't think he's funny enough to cover up a murder yet. (laughs) The darkness in his eyes. I mean, maybe, someday. I don't fucking know. Ah, But, um, we were talking, uh, who the hell were we talking to about it? I think it was JD. 
about those JOI videos. Speaking of voices, do you know what JOI is? No. Well, these are a porn category that is jerk off instruction. Then where it's basically a girl, it's like ASMR of a girl's voice. ASMR. As asthma, talking you through how to pull your pud. And I was thinking, the market I'm going to corner is I'm going to be the first JOI DJ. Where I'm just going to go into places and just put, make like a slow, it's got to be mid to slow beat behind the JOI videos. Obviously, I got to get the permission of the girls who made the videos. Like, look, can I just use this track and put a beat behind it? Yeah, that's who you need permission from. Yeah. Not the people in the establishment. And just play it over there and just <laughs> yeah, see, and I just want to see how it changes the vibe of the club. What? Probably drastically, I'd say. But I would go to different types of like dance clubs. I wouldn't just go to like certain you types. You go to of, like the samba club. I'd go to Guido clubs. <laughs> I'd go to the fucking the the Russian tracksuit crowds, like the black dude nightclubs. Same, this is yeah. the, the Guido's and the Russian tracksuit people the, are so close. Like, like the white girl, the Venn diagrams, like the same like, people except for the white girl, white claw crowds, and just like just play these over there and just see who gets affected <laughs> most. It'll be like my little experiment. I gotta tell you, I don't think you'd make it past the first place. Oh, probably not. <laughs> Looking like I do, I'd say, I'm a DJ. They're like, no, you're probably on a registry, and you need to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, and with that voice, it's like, they're gonna really... <laughs> <laughs> you like, think you're setting up equipment? Are you fucking high? high? <laughs> they're like, they'd be, like, they be on board for it, and then as soon as I was just like, hey, what's up? I'm DJ whatever. they just be like, nah, nah, shut them down. You hear that fucking thing? Let me see. You shit coming out of his throat? Am I too loud? No, I had to turn my headphones down. No, How's, how are your levels? Loud. Is it loud enough? Is it good? I'm, I feel like, I don't know. You feel fine? You're the, you're the sound guy. <laughs> you're the, true. You're the smarty I pants. I can say that I can hear the fan a little bit, though. Yeah. But you cut that out or something. You can strip nah. it a little bit. If it, it's, it's too, it gets it's too not, balmy in here without yeah, it. Yeah, I'd rather it be on for my own experience. Yeah, same. But audio nerds would be like, Listening back, shot. you can't really hear it okay. yeah. so much. So maybe I just won't talk Because it's normally me then. just blathering about <laughs> dumb shit. <laughs> a blithering idiot. And the other thing that I was thinking about, have you... And this is just can like Can you a, give me like... I'm sorry, I have go to ahead. go back. Can you can you give me an example? Do like a little beatbox and then splice in some of the talking. Well, there's basically just like... How would this work? All right, look. It's just like a normal porno... Like blowjob vid, right? Regular, just strict blowjob, nothing else, right? Just I thought this was classic. JOI. What happened? That's what I'm talking about with JOI. I'm trying to describe it. What JOI videos are is basically just a girl giving that a dude, I giving she's a dude like, a tugger, oh. and she's like, "Oh, do you like it when I stroke this and blah blah blah?" And what I would do would just take the audio, go have like a nice like. Would it be like, do you like it when I ch 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 stroke? Like, it wouldn't be like anything. Like a bass drum. It wouldn't be like. It would be like you're taking the words and you're stripping the vocals and you're making it into a beat. Or you're just saying, like, you're playing beats and then you're just playing this audio. The beat would be just a background to the audio. Because you figure you can't do anything upbeat because the way she's talking isn't upbeat. No, it's trying you, to be you need sensual. a nice like hard driving 109 BPM, like just under heartbeat. Like, I don't know tempo. what you just said, Nerdlinger, but I bricked up my pants just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So it couldn't be anything like too, like fist bumpy or anything like that. No. Nah. Be more like this. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Why is he bumping his fist like that? <laughs> and it'd be funny because like you know like say there was like no 200 people at the club, which it probably won't be. Uh, for your show, come on. Dude. Exactly, that's a bit, mu- <laughs> that's a bit generous. A hundred. That's e- like if you're a you're way above <laughs> amateur DJ, you would have two people at your show. Believe it or not, I have people. never been to a DJ performance, but a <laughs> hundred eighty nine people would just be confused as fuck, and eleven would just be like, eh, just like you know, kind of saunter in the back and pretend they don't know what it is. This doesn't sound like the makings of a successful show. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this I mean, is just what I was thinking of while sitting on the toilet before I came over here. Today. I see. Okay. Is were what, you watching one of these videos? I feel like that's kind of what we're getting not to. to. <laughs> not today I wasn't, but the weekend I was. Because the weekend's to get the poison out day. Yeah. Wow. But if you just put like a, never thought about it like that. Like a mid-paced or a slower beat behind it. I mean, if there was tons of Molly in the fucking crowd... I might be the most popular person in the entire world after that. I'm just saying, I'd be moving to Miami in a fucking heartbeat, getting the thinnest gold chains there are, way too many fucking rings. You know what? 
Yeah, I mean, don't fucking hate on my success. Bro. Honestly, I'm in a I'm in a very like yes point in my life. I feel like you gotta say yes to yourself. You gotta say yes to your things that you want to do in your with your life. Yeah. Time is short. You're old as shit. You gotta do. <laughs> it's true. I am. <laughs> you gotta do. You gotta follow your dreams now. Damn, she clocked you right away. She's... He called himself old earlier. It's well, a callback to. I also he have said. a fully white beard. So yeah, I'm way past like DJ age because i think you gotta retire from being a dj at like 32 right nah i just unless you have a big mouse head or whatever that fucking guy wears i don't know that it matters anymore uh, I'm, I'm thinking of like you know those events that some of our friends like john wren go to oh he likes like, that edm your shit, edc yeah. like your moon rises and shit yeah i think you could you could probably sneak in this joi audio into something like that because those most of those kids are fucking rolling that's what i'm thinking like most people are gonna be on molly ecstasy or something yeah. I think what happens is literally the music stops. You have a great <laughs> DJ set. The music stops. You pay like play like two and a half minutes of this. Okay. And then at the end, it does turn into like going. The vocals turn into like, do do like she's like. And then it turns back into like EDM. Should be like, what did I just dream that? Nine months later, there's going to be so many kids in Miami. That's I don't know how the Russians will feel about it, but the EDM white boys might actually... <laughs> the fuck yeah, dude. They're the ones... They're the tar- They're the people watching that porn. So they're going to be your... You got to look for who's your target audience and then work back to the idea. I got to say, yeah. if I was small, I probably would own a tracksuit. They look mad comfortable. I must say, they are. And the whoosh sound it makes when you walk in them? The hype lives up, trust me. Tracksuits rule. I like to sneak up on people, so it's not really... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we heard you coming, Yuri. <laughs> I don't want people to hear me walking. That's probably why Russians always wear sambas. They always wear those samba shoes, because they don't want anything heavy heel to really give them away. It's like, yes, it could be any Russian, though, with this whoosh whoosh. <laughs> I was thinking, do you? I have a pet peeve that I've recently discovered the last couple... Well, the last few years... Once all my friends are getting older, too. Have you ever, like, called up a friend of yours and you're just like, oh, you want to go grab a beer, you want to go grab dinner, you want to go grab something like that, and you're just excited to go talk to your friend and just have some one-on-one time with a friend of yours, and then they do what I think is a cardinal sin is they bring one of their children. (laughs) And how awful that is, how it just kills the mood entirely. Yeah, now you can't talk about your porn idea <laughs> exactly and now it's just like dude joi dj idea yeah gone yeah i can't talk about my joi D- dj idea i can't talk about you know like you know killing myself would be fun or i can't talk about you know like how i'm really sad that you know my grandma's dead like Whoa. 20 years ago and D- shit like that dj oi holy shit i can't get you know blackout DJ drunk sad boy. <laughs> right dj open wrist like oh my god it's like it's like you can't talk about you can't get unreasonably drunk because they decided to bring a goddamn child and it doesn't matter the age i don't give a shit no yeah i think i don't really have friends with kids that would do that to me but i feel that way about if someone Thank brings God. somebody i don't like or like a normal i'm trying to talk shit so if you bring yeah, somebody yeah. that's not in our talking shit bubble of security some people then just like, aren't what are we even gonna talk about right, right. like what are you How gonna do your shit? day at your job and, I don't give or a shit. you're gonna have to do the annoying <laughs> thing of like the person you're talking shit on you gotta explain to this <sighs> other person who, I, well this is the reason we think this guy's a jerk off and this and like then it's just like all right either people people also people default to the agreeable thing and because they're there they'll be like oh yeah fuck that guy then but they're not really like they're not invested in it well, you, I wouldn't talk, I don't, I try not to talk, sh- I'm actually, I was going to say, I never talk shit in front of people I don't trust, but I yeah. can't help myself. Because the last thing you want to do Sometimes is like, you, can't. you're, you know, you're out, just drink with your friend. Who you and guys hate? I hate <laughs> him. I don't like him at all. Um, <laughs> but like, wait, what okay. would you do? Like you, your friend like brings out a kid and then you're talking shit in front of this kid. Turns out this kid is Matt Reif's friend <laughs> and you're sitting there talking shit on his special and this kid just goes and blows you up, dude. And then all of a sudden, like, you're not getting any spots anywhere. He goes home and he he goes on TikTok and he goes, <laughs> my, uh, my dad's friend said you're... 
You're not a funny. pedophile. <laughs> and then he's like, what? But then hopefully he, he gets sidetracked down. by this sick DJ video he just came across of some Russian track tracksuit people like, listening to like, JOI <laughs> videos. It's such a creep. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah. The t shirt tape. The fourth out. wall just broke. How's, how, can window. you check the lighting on me though? No, I'm just kidding. I truly don't. <laughs> Made me look thinner. Um, it's a professional, yeah. it's a professional operation here. It's pretty good. I mean, the microphones are great. I can hear the tape. <laughs> Hopefully, the listeners can too. No, it's really good. It, these microphones are great. They pick up everything. You want to crack Maybe it a little I bit see. for air? Yeah, whatever. And every once in a while, I hear a bird chirping, and that's really beautiful. Oh, isn't love, it though? I do love that. That's the good ASMR. Background. Now, what if you did like hippie, or like a hippie DJ, and just had shit like that? Just like random bird calls with a beat behind it. I think that exists. I'm sure that exists. And there's just like a bunch of like divorcees just like calling out the names of the birds before the bass drops. They're like, oh, that's a. <laughs> that's a tough to tit mouse. Tit. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> oh shit, hive mind. We both thought about tits. That's crazy, dude. You can't beat a good tit mouse, dude. You? It's hard not to think about that. Because there's like, oh, the tough tit mouse. That was Sarah's favorite before she passed, you know, just like, oh. Yeah. I was trying to come up with a surgery that you could get to acquire money, and I think I did. But well, what we, is it? We moved past it too quick. What? Big you know fucking what? sweet tits. Yeah. If you they already have that surgery. Yeah, but once you get them, you'll start to acquire more money. That's not true. I acquired some pretty hefty tits, and I am don't have shit. I have to say, same. <laughs> I've put on a few pounds. It's been mostly yeah. tits and ass, but um, mostly tits for me. I'm still assless. <laughs> oh, that's I'm, I'm rough, working on it dude. though. <laughs> it's 2023. You gotta have a big juicy ass. I do. I need a nice dumper. I don't have any hips either, so it's hard to like keep yeah, belts on. Yeah, you're never gonna get shit. a dumper if you have no hips. No, Mm-mm. that's what Shakira said. Yeah, <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> I remember that seminal hit, hit of hers. Yeah, I grew up with that one. Yeah. So you'll never get any... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I can't... I don't even remember any of her songs. Then again, I don't think I knew any of her songs when she was out. I just remember she did belly dancing. And well, she had this song that was like about her hips not lying. And then like... When she belly dances, it's cool. When I do it, I get asked to leave. <laughs> They're like, cool hernia, dude. I'm like, leave me alone. I'm self-conscious about it. I think about She-Wolf. She-Wolf? There's a She-Wolf in the closet. Oh, the yeah. fuck? Yeah, Shagira song. She-Wolf. Damn, you don't know the discography, don't you? She-Wolf yes. Is, is a good song. Ooh. But yeah, just... So anybody listening, if you friend of yours calls you up and says, Hey, man, I haven't talked to you in a while. Let's go get dinner. Let's go get a couple beers. Leave your goddamn kid at home or say, hey, I can't make it tonight. So you'd rather not have a friendship than be around a kid? <laughs> it's not that I wouldn't. Well, it depends. Say, if I got some important agree. shit to get off my chest or like I need a buddy at, at that time, I guess then again, I could just say, look, man. Don't bring your fucking kid. Yeah, I just could be like, look, I got a lot of shit going on. You want to grab a beer? And then they will kind of like pick up the message of, you know, okay, he's got some shit going on. He needs to like buddy time yeah you say if you bring your kid i'm gonna kill myself (laughs) in in front of the kid which is gonna cost you in the long run when you gotta pay for his bills when he's like my dad's friend blew his brains out right in front of buffalo wild wings when i was five that kid would end up being the coolest kid i'm sorry but all these little kids like they don't go through anything they grow up they're like the most annoying adults they can't interact (laughs) he would be the most well they can't drive Oh, great. How great would that be? He's, like, accepting, like, a medal of some sort. He's like, oh, so what got you started on your uh, path? He's like, well, I saw a fat loser go <laughs> <laughs> Well, this one fat... Pi- well, yeah. Well, this one... <laughs> well, this one fat pig dumped another fat pig, and then he dumped around into his temple, and next thing you know, <laughs> I care about math. You know, it's like... <laughs> It's like you're welcome, Steven. <laughs> it's like, uh, I don't gee. know. I was thinking he would be like the next, like uh, I don't know, big. He'd be like the next Elvis or something. Damn. So maybe like like a cool artist type guy. It's like damn, that's true too. I wanted to think of someone cooler than Elvis. <laughs> I was like, damn, of all people, Elvis. <laughs> and everybody I was thinking about like seems lame in my brain. Like who would be who would be like a big who's a big star like who's and it's big cool star? as Elvis though. I don't know, like... I mean, he died on the toilet and always wore, like, tights. 
Yeah. And like one. And but like that's what onesies. this kid's trying to get away from dying on the toilet. <laughs> yeah. I can't think of anybody more bitching right now. <laughs> Fuck. That's, a, that's how I'm going to go. I'm going to die on the toilet, but written in, on my chest, I'll shave it into my chest, is like, tell Billy to pay attention in school. <laughs> and we're we'll like, who's Billy? Like, he'll figure it out. He's like, it says. <laughs> Um, I died shitting, but I have no ass. <laughs> you kids out there, you eat better. Unless you got a big juicy dumper, and then you can eat as much as you want as long as you keep it in range. If everything goes right to your ass, keep eating, you know? I so wish it true. went straight to my ass. Oh, it goes right to my chest. I get love yeah. handles. I don't want to hear you <laughs> bitch about weight. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what Shakira's doing right now. That's the real question. Yeah, I imagine that someone's Kimberly. feeding her grapes, and I don't know why that is, but she seems like a pure god, like a serious goddess level all the time to me. She's not doing shit. She don't want to. She's wanna. cool. She's yeah. so cool. And I wish I could speak Spanish and dance. What, what if she wasn't speaking Spanish and was faking it the entire time? That would be so cool. But she was so good at everything else that like people that spoke Spanish didn't feel like calling her out. It's like her hips are so mesmerizing that people like think they're hearing. Even Spanish people think they're hearing Spanish. So they're th- like, yeah, the people from Spain thinks it's like Latin America Spanish, and the people from Latin America think it's Spain Spanish. So everybody's just like, oh, okay, it's just a different dialect. Yeah, where it's like all those rock songs from the '90s where you couldn't understand. They're speaking English, you oh, can't yeah. understand what they're <laughs> yeah. saying. Oh, like it's Dennis's too fast. favorite. Oh, I love that stuff. What are you talking about? She's Colombian though. Who? Shakira. They don't speak Spanish down there? They or do. Or is that Portuguese? No, no it's, it's Spanish. Oh. Either way, dude. She could even get fat and it wouldn't matter. I don't I don't know mm. that she could get fat. Yeah. She, I think she moves around too much. There's I t- honestly imagine when she walks, her hips are going... Yeah. Like... Yeah, she's like... I would like to hear her coming because it would be like... Do you think it's like the opposite of like... If I do too much, like, my hips start cracking, my knees crack, I'm old. Do you think when she stops moving, it starts cracking? I don't know. I don't know she that has it does. The, she actually has to keep doing the belly dance thing, or... She has to stay in perpetual motion, <laughs> it's, or her it's like joints Dalton. will immediately <laughs> fucking, what like, What is she, rot. a Disney princess? It, it's, like, it's like sharks. If she sharks, was cursed. This is her curse. <laughs> if sharks stop swimming, they die. So maybe that's what Shakira's curse is, yeah. Damn! Sharks stop swimming, they die. Yeah. Oh, we just need to get the sharks to stop swimming, or get the <laughs> sharks scary. to listen and to introduce Shakira. Them to porn. <laughs> <laughs> I, not, like and, I have no motivation anymore. <laughs> instantly, all sharks are like, "Fuck that! I'm good." They're like, "Dude, I'll just stay here, and watch porn." I just do, yeah. Do sonar of JOI videos. <laughs> it's like, why are these sharks so horny? I thought he was going to eat my cousin. Instead, he just flipped them over. Like, wow. Wow. He's, he's been, been fucking themselves ch- off. <laughs> he's been chilling on the sandbar the whole time. <laughs> it looks like he has a phone in his hand. <laughs> like he, he was has earbuds in. <laughs> it's like my wife's home. It was weird. He was happy as shit for like a couple seconds. Then all of a sudden he got really sad. I'm like, I don't know what that's all about. Then he fell asleep. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. <laughs> then he fell asleep with his shark socks dead and stuck to his chest. So they're swimming while they're sleeping? I, yeah. I don't know if they are sleeping. If they don't... I don't know how. They have the swim... It, it, it's something to do with their breathing. Like, if they stop swimming, they're done. It's like done. there's nothing moving through to grab <clears throat> yes. oxygen I see. Or And they will basically suffocate oxygen? and sink. And that's water shit. they breathe shit. oxygen? Mm-hmm. Yeah, if they just get it through water, yeah. You figure they've been around since the dinosaurs and shit, dude? I was actually speaking of dinosaurs. Speak- I was hoping he was going to get any I more shark facts. It was going to be like something really profound. Yeah. <laughs> and then he just went. So anyway. So anyway, speaking of sharks and dinosaurs, we had a discussion on Patreon, and I was listening to our Patreon episode, and it made me angrier at you again. Oh, good. I gave Brace him. Yourself. I gave him the hypo- oh, right. the hypothetical question of if you can go to any three points Oops. in time. You know, when my we, own birth, where would you go? You know, like, where would you go? And his first one was was good. It was, uh, I would go to Egypt and see right before they started building the pyramids and see who built them to settle that whole thing. You know, yeah, the origin was it Egyptians, was it aliens, or whatever Rogan says. And oh. I was like, all right, that's a cool answer. His next one was a car racing scene from the movie Grease. <laughs> I love Grease. 
Yeah, but fuck yeah. All right. Go <laughs> <on>. <laughs> Do you want to tell her what scene? Yeah, everybody I know knows the, the scene. scene. It's the climax of the movie when Where they're she racing. she finds the penny. Fuck so, yeah. So basically, <laughs> what, it, rules. what it boiled down to was Tom had two desires in life. You want to get out of here? <laughs> Tom had two desires I sure do, Olivia Newton-John. <laughs> he wanted to see who built the pyramids, and he wanted to fuck Olivia Newton-John. I mean... He's a simple man. For, At for, least he's not going to the scene where she sang that really boring song in the movie. Boo. Hopelessly devoted. Ugh. It's like, get out of the kiddie pool and go back into the slumber party, bitch. You're yeah. 75 years old. <laughs> that was a weird part of that movie, how they're all like, yeah, we're teenagers. Like, yeah, you're all 30. Yeah, especially, what was her name, Rizzo? Yeah. She was clearly 40. Oh, yeah. She's and, like, the other guy, Kanicki, he's Kanicki not, like, was 100. He already has, like, scars from his teen acne. It's like, yes. that doesn't happen while you're still in high school. Dude, Dude Danny Zuko burned him, though. He called him Crater Face. Damn. I was like, oh. Yeah, that's where everybody got that Damn, fucking man. cutting, the most cutting, <laughs> rudest thing you could say to somebody who had So, what you're saying is I should go audition for, like, Grease 4? Teen dramedy maybe, roles. Maybe high school musical. Yeah. I want to be in the next reboot Six. of 90210. <laughs> I'll be the next Luke Perry. You look just like him. Th- oh, thank you. <laughs> More like it? Luke Perry. Mm. Mm. No, More like don't. Hugh Perry. Oh, no. <laughs> just brought it back. I dropped the bomb. Uh, she welcome. fucking de- she defused you're it. Welcome. All right, good looking out. I appreciate it was only that. Good yours was so bad. Like, you could have like... <laughs> <laughs> it could have been literally anything. It's built on a foundation of shit. Yes. Yeah. Surround oh. yourself with people that are worse than you. That's what I always say. <laughs> That's hard for me to do. That's hard for me to do. I, I would have to go hang out with homeless. <laughs> homeless. And even some of them are like, <laughs> at least they're fucking entertaining. It's like, oh, look, at least he knows how to shit against the brick wall. What do you know how to do? I was like, you mm, know, talk about my tits. <laughs> J-O-Y videos. <laughs> in, a, in a fucking shed on a, t- on a Wednesday. Oh. What do you got, Tom? You got any news there, bud? News? Well, first, oh. I wanted to uh, I wanted to get into the language of love. Oh Ugh. shit! Now it's not a it's not a ick. <laughs> Wait, it's can topic. I get another beer? Is yes, that possible? you can. Would you like certainly Mexican, you Jamaican? It's warm. Is that fine? No, don't give me a warm beer. Give me whatever is cold. Cold. I got Modelo and Red Stripe. Give me the Modelo. I'll drink another Modelo. All right, so we're all familiar with the internet, and mm-hmm. there's there's accounts. What? Of, What's that? It's, <laughs> it's this a, crazy thing. It's a series of tubes built by Al Gore. <laughs> but there's like there's accounts of people who have massive followings, especially attractive women and men. <laughs> Matt Rife. Matt, you know you're Matt Rife. You're Olivia Newton Johns. I can just see you shaking your fist at the air, like Rife. Rife. <laughs> <laughs> But Matt Rife, you say like my like <laughs> Matt Rife. Oh, Matt man. Rife. <laughs> now I'll never be able to Sorry. say it a different See, way. See that'll make it'll make you happy to hear <laughs> it now. I just changed Matt Rife for everybody. Just and when you hear Matt Ooh. Rife and it makes you upset. Yeah. Think change about it. Borat. Think about Borat and go Matt Rife. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> okay. I hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was I what was scrolling. On the internet? <laughs> I was I was scrolling through, and I saw a funny comedian, Annie oh. Letterman, oh. and uh, in my ex- like because I follow her page or whatever, she's mm-hmm. in my explore too. But some people think she bears a resemblance to Scarlett Johansson. Okay, Voice and I was like, maybe. eh, whatever. But a picture of Scarlett popped up in my explore page after that. So this this picture right here it looks Likely like she's like excuse. on set. Okay. It's a collection of three photos of her. So I did whatever any self-respecting person who likes funny stuff would do, and I checked jerked the com- off to it. I checked I checked the comments <laughs> after you jerked off to it. After, yeah. after, always after. You ever read read comments on people's stuff like that? Should I guess what the comments are? Like, uh, damn girl. I'm telling you, if you it's ever much better. got like thirty minutes to kill, go to any. Attractive woman, even attractive dudes, and just read the comment section. And Especially. Just sh- like, I wish I could turn these p- leather pants into a chair, oh, and then I'll let the chair sit on my face. Oh, it gets <laughs> brutal. 
Okay, wait, it so gets let me brutal. Am so, I okay? My passes are under. It's just for me. I'm assuming it's just Scarlett. I'm Jones keeping it book, too. Book. I'm gonna sign it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there you go. There's your Here's document. my headshot. Uh, I don't know if even. Oh, Scar Joe. Okay. Then, like, the more famous you get, the more horrendous some of the comments get. Oh yeah, it's brutal. So I, I am cl- a woman out in the world. I do kind of understand her have, crazy her plight. Comment, have in, have Indian dudes found your Instagram page yet? Where they at? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Your DMs are open. No, please guys. go on. I would transition. My DMs are closed to everybody. I would transition to a woman just to have Indian dudes hit me up on Instagram. And it would be the most... It's a lot more expensive than changing your voice. Just so it's you true. Know. Whatever. I'm so true. Okay, so let's hear some of these. I collected some of my them? favorites. Yes. <laughs> D. Freud 54 says, Jersey plates, huh? If you look in the background, I do see car, that there's jersey plates. That is so menacing. <laughs> of all things, to choose, he that is... guy's hilarious. Like I would hang out with that guy. Like I, and it would probably suck, but I would be entertained. I don't know. It sounds like he's kind of doing a guess your blood type by looking at you. He's like very guess. cool. That's very interesting. <laughs> what can you do? You just told us you don't even know how to shit on a brick wall. Touche. Ah. <laughs> Touche. Okay, let's hear another. <laughs> Osleon20 says, from Palestine, regards to you. Aw. <laughs> Chili Smoothie says, J- Jets get active. Let's eat. What? Uh-huh. <laughs> Was that a C translation? What does that mean? No. That's the it, problem. You, you'll never know the answer to that question. There should be like a C translation where it's like you can set Some your thing happens, to like... Yeah incels and a translate what they mean to you can you translate the language is just like the incel language is actually called fedora so yeah you gotta you translate fedora it's like what that means is i'm outside your apartment right hey fedora can you translate this for me sure can my lady okay after i polish my sword collection your insults are from a different (laughs) century my lady they do speak um okay mustafa zoon says internet out until later Classic and then he comment after that he commented a heart. No, let's see. Brando Les Fabiano says fantastic woman and full of magic. Rose emoji. Aw. Mila Mila L Kunis says follow me <laughs> if you like Mila Kunis. <laughs> Mila L Kunis. I just like one no no. <laughs> and oh, so are you what? the Mila Kunis? I thought these were gonna be like mean. No, they're just the craziest shit I can find. There's some. They're not that there's crazy. some that are mean though. I did one. I wish I came up with more fake ones because they would have been all way more insane than. I it. came in with one, <laughs> one that I found a couple weeks ago. Uh, it was a girl that she's an OnlyFans girl, and Hi. she she was posing with like just some actual real deal boots on the ground porn star, and all the porn stars fans were like, call, basically calling her a hack. It's like get this whole her fan- pussy's not even real. <laughs> she hasn't been broken in. It's just like she like just like get this fucking hack bitch broken out of there. Broken in, oh my god! Just like because she, I guess like she hadn't done like videos. And they're just like basically calling her hack. Like get this fucking fake bitch out of there. And like it's like damn dude, like take it they're easy. They're relentless. They don't realize that it's all fake. <laughs> yes, I'm saying no, they don't. Oh. Yeah, this is bumming me out. Okay, here, let's hear another Here's one. Here's one. Power, Power Edgeman says, 100% fake, go away. <laughs> How's it fake? That's Damn, awfully he rude. B- really burned her. Fucking yeah. Torched her, dude. Christopher Maddox, 93, said, wow, picture blocks, awesome. Picture blocks? <laughs> I, I like the jersey plate like the jersey plates guy. I feel like that's, he's being sarcastic. Like, he's making fun. All these other people are crazy I'm gonna need to get the handle of the jersey plates guy because I might hit him up. <laughs> D- Three D- weeks D- ago, 54. you posted this. I just be like, hey, I know this is crazy. <laughs> what if it's like the hottest guy ever? Holy shit! It's Matt Rife. <laughs> it's Matt Rife. It's his burner, or it's just some like it's dude. Matt Rife's old teeth. His his default <laughs> picture looks just like a galaxy. Wait, I have to look him up. I can guarantee I you. While... I guarantee you, his job you is try, entrepreneur. This guy. Maybe I'll have to do it later. I think I'm, I'm like really bad at being on my phone. What if I just started watching like clips from somebody else's podcast right now? While we're that would be fucking hilarious, actually. It'd be like not complete. Oh, you know what? Do you guys you know live Matt up Ryan? on a 
Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna get any service up here. Like, yeah, I true. was driving up here and I was like, I guess I don't know either one of you, and I'm going on. And you into, are in a shed. I'm in a shed <laughs> in the fucking woods. You want some warm Sapporo? <laughs> yeah. Just, I only consented just, to the podcast. It's <laughs> just googling. Is like, does Matt Rife have a podcast I could be listening to during this? Yeah, you seem like you're projecting onto Matt Rife. Mm. You're gonna like, mm. murder me. <laughs> Uh, and my like, fa- tell me one of his bits. My stab, favorite stab. one was from Morrow Max One S underscore Hunter. He oh. said, "Bubbles." Oh, because that's because you got a big bubble butt. Yeah, it's sure. true. It does I, photograph well. Sure. I would. She looks nice. I think it would be great if, like, was that under her like her personal thing? Nah. Oh, if somebody was just like, "Hey, thanks for uh, reaching out." What it, the fuck did you mean by that? <laughs> That'd be Scarlet Dot Actress. Scar- Oh, so this is just, like, a fan... That's something that's really interesting, is, like, there's all these people that have, like, fan pages that yeah. they manage. And their pages are <clears throat> massive. Yeah. What it... The internet blows my mind. Up until, like, three years ago, I was like, yeah, you can't make money on Instagram. You can't... Like, <laughs> this doesn't make, Oh, boy, were wrong. we wrong. Yeah. Like, or, like, I didn't understand, like... I worked for, like, an ad tech company. Brag. And I was like, I don't know what ads are. Like, I don't understand, <laughs> like, campaigns and, like, what... I, like, I didn't... I was like... I think that's one of those things where, like, it changes People year have by spend year a so lot fast. of fucking money on mm-hmm. fucking yeah. online ads. Like, an insane insane amounts of money. But I personally have never been, like, on my phone and been like, oh, an ad. Yeah. Gotta, bought, gotta like, click that. Bought something off my phone. The only time like that's ever actually worked for me was sometime one time I saw an ad for Popeyes, and I was like, "Damn, I would like some Popeyes right now." But, but you didn't click through that. I ad honestly, and buy it there. I honestly think that's different, though. I honestly think that thought would have come to me no matter what ad I saw organically. It'd be like Dick's Sporting Goods. I'm like, Man, the reality I really is with Popeyes. that though is you <laughs> might have been thinking about Popeyes, and then your phone knew that. It's very likely because uh, you're interconnected. I mean, it's pretty much on somewhere in my brain. Is there a Popeyes around here? Goddamn right there is. Route 2. I have to say, every time I'm in, like, I'm out of the city, I typically will get fast food as, like, my treat on my ride home. I thought Pennsylvania had Popeyes. I don't know. I've never been to Popeyes. I'm not going to go to Popeyes. I'll probably see if there's, like, a Wendy's or something. We definitely have those. Wendy's are everywhere, and Mm -hmm. it's the best fast food. And this will be my second time in the last two weeks. That's a hot take. Not many many people go Wendy's. I will if Chick-fil-A is closed. I don't fuck with Chick-fil-A. Well, you're different. What if you want a burger, though? I don't like burgers. (gasps) So much. I like chicken. I like a chicken sandwich. All All the time? Most of the time. You go spicy? Nah. Oh. Typically, nah. Jesus Christ, Classic dude. white boy. Every guy I've or ever dated's, like, favorite sandwich is a chicken... Like, or, like, their favorite meal is, like, chi- fried chicken or chicken sandwich. Like, I mean, it's, it's up like there, the but it's not my favorite. It's, like, the most simple... Like... You can get it anyway. Why would you, like, if you had... If you had the opportunity to go spicy, why wouldn't you, is my whole outlook on... Some people can't handle it. On my chest. Some people but, uh, are little bitches. Yeah. They can't have the spice. Because a chicken sandwich <laughs> patty only comes in one kind of spicy. And there's so many genres of spicy out there. That's not a spicy that I cling to, really. Yeah, like Tabasco is not the right kind of spicy. No. It just burns your mouth. And it doesn't taste like anything. Now, if we're talking like Cholula or like, in- or like Indian food spicy yep. or Mexican food spicy, these are all different things. You can't get a chicken sandwich like that. From Indian. a fast food place? Yeah, if they could squirt a little sriracha on your regular chicken sure. sandwich, that'd be bomb. Yeah, now yeah, I'm talking. I, know, I really have a hard time trusting the people in the in the place, though, to put any condiments on my... Yeah, no. The, put it on the side, I'll do it. Or something. Because sometimes they'll be like, I'm like, who put mayonnaise on this? Are they blonde? Ugh. Like, it's like a half... <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Are they blonde? <laughs> it's, like it's like a ladle. Like a soup ladle's amount of yeah. ma- mayonnaise. It ruins everything. It, for me, that's guacamole. What? Guacamole. They either put on oh. a fucking ink blot's worth, or they put on an entire avocado. And either way, I'm just like, no. I'll eat. Uh, I'll eat raw guacamole. I don't give a shit. Just give Same. it. Give it to me on the side, so I can dole out how much goes on it. Every other thing, I don't really give a shit. Mayonnaise mm. is just gross. It's not good. At all. And anybody Certain who eats things, me- it's like I had a tra- I, one of my most traumatic childhood experiences was 
I politely ate a like a one to one ratio tuna fish to mayonnaise oh, no. sandwich at a oh. friend's house. I was so like spastic and shy when I was a kid, so I would just like do a lot of things to be polite and I was like I was like eating it and I was just kind of like I was, like, not letting it touch me. And just, like, drinking water and swallowing it whole. Oh, God. It was so gross. Oh, fuck. But it's, like, you know, when, like... I actually work for this old... I was telling you I work for this old lady, and she'll, like, give me stuff all the time, and I'm just, like... Eh. Damn, that's awesome. But like, I just have to... I have to say yes. I can't say no. Did you ever have somebody give you... Like, make you tuna fish, though, and they didn't use mayonnaise at all? That's jarring. No, I'd rather that. I was dating a girl right when I got out of high school, believe it or not. And, uh, like, she's like, I'm making a tuna fish sandwich for myself. Do you want one? I was like, yeah, sure, fine. Mm-hmm. And she made it with French's mustard. Ugh. Right? <laughs> That's gross. Right? That's like, she's crazy. Was she good at fucking? <laughs> Honestly, no. Oh, uh, no. French's. Uh, yeah. It's just like yellow not, yeah, mustard. Yellow yeah, mustard. not like like a nice brown or like th- anything like that. It was just straight up yellow French's mustard. Oh, Red boy. flag dumper. I just looked at. It, I was like, was is this mustard? She's like, yeah, it's good, right? I'm like, I ate it. I mean, I'm not a total fucking psychopath, but I think you gotta be, be aware of your weird food combinations, and you have to do them in private, or yeah. you have to kind or- of be like, hey, I know this is. What is going on? I know this is weird, but I do this thing, and you gotta you gotta like <laughs> ease somebody into it. Oh man! Do you have any weird like people sometimes do really like oh? The weird. first time I freaked out about something like that mm. was meatloaf. What about it specifically? What do you mean? Like my mom made it all the time growing up because she only knew how to cook like two things, but she would just make a meatloaf. Just make meatloaf, not put anything on it. I mean, meatloaf is pretty inoffensive, so... But like, here's the thing. But it, what? Then one time she passed me off, me and my sister off, to my grandparents, and they made it with, like, ketchup on the top of it. Fuck yeah, that. people do that. That's good. And I was just like, what the fuck? And, like, and, like I was at that age where, I like, I was <laughs> starting to get... shit out of your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> I switched their like, medication. what the fuck? <laughs> You're fucking crazy. <laughs> I switched out their medications. No, it just, like... And I was like, when you first start like really talking back to adults and shit, and just being a real prick, and I was just like, "Hell yeah!" What, like, what's on top of it? This is gross. I don't like this. Just being a total fucking asshole. And my grandma was a sweetheart, and she's like, "This is how your grandfather likes it." I'm like, "Well, it's gross," and he smacked the living shit out of me. And yes, I like st- a grandfather, as he should have. You know. Also, oh. it's like just cut that little. Sp- off. Yeah, yeah, maybe stop being it's a little just bitch. The <laughs> but here's another weird thing they did with meatloaf: hard boiled egg in the middle of it. What? That's like um, there's a it's like a Scottish egg. Well, that makes sense. There's mm. like um, it's like God. a food where it's like a it's actually like a soft boiled egg, and then they wrap that in meat and then they deep fry it. It was just. It wasn't how mommy made it, and I wasn't being a little fucking kid about it, but that was the first time I ever, like, someone did something different, and I was like, what the fuck? I would just always, I was, like, a picky eater, but I was too polite, so I would just force myself to eat, like, whatever. <laughs> whatever so you broke it. There. You broke yeah. yourself. Yeah, same. Yeah. Yeah, it was traumatizing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what made you good roll fat? Well, one time my grandma tried to give me meatloaf with ketchup on the top of it. <laughs> it's like... Why are you successful? I ate a tuna fish sandwich <laughs> with too much mayonnaise when I was seven years old. <laughs> and it hardened me. Oh. And then I watched him kill himself in front of me. <laughs> Did you ever have anybody put fucking breadcrumbs in tuna like that? Into meatloaf? In the, no, in the tuna. I, I gotta stop you right there. I don't <laughs> even, I don't even like tuna. I like tuna. I, I can't like stand fish. it. I'm not even a huge seafood fan, but I like tuna. There used to be a place that would put, like, barbecue chips in the... And it was, like, a tuna crunch sandwich, and it was so good. That does sound pretty damn good. It doesn't sound too bad. As a but no, there's hater. normal things. You could put pickles. You could put... Um, I know a lot of people put relish in. With yeah, like the, relish, With the mayonnaise, which yeah. Which is the same thing as pickles. Oh, yeah, yeah good and point. Then, <laughs> and then, like, celery. And onions. Yeah. But, like, if you're crazy, you maybe put olives in there, because you oh, like, like... that's a bit much. <laughs> you oh. know what? It's, like, fish and capers, like, the salty and like i'm just saying that there's normal yeah. things to put mustard's not 
something that you yeah. can really put. You've never have you ever gotten any sort of fish dish with a mustard? No, no. Nah. Even like lemon and mustard. Like there's no. I never nah. had any. Well, I'm not like a sushi guy, but don't they do like a spicy mustard with some sushis though? Uh, maybe is that a thing? Uh, or as did a, I just imagine. No. <laughs> as I a fellow, genuinely think it is like closer to mayo. What they put in like a spicy tuna roll. It's Probably. like. Uh. It's closer to... But yeah, I had somebody uh, put, like... And not, like, a panko, like, the little bread, like, flakes, whatever, but, like, full-on cubed bread crumbs. Like croutons? Almost, but not but not cooked. Almost, like, stuffing? So, I was like... Oh, no. I was like, wait, are you making up for the fact that you don't have enough tuna to feed who you're feeding? Oh, uh, well, see, that does make a little bit yeah. of sense, because... Or, like, it doesn't, but, like, when you make... When you go get crab cakes, you'll yeah, ask they them, do like, that. oh, is, yeah. this, is there filler in this? And then they'll, yeah. they'll put, like, it'll be, like, 50% breadcrumbs. So you, like, you kind of want to get, if you're going to get crab cakes at a place, you want to, like, know that it's mostly crab. Because yeah. Because they'll fucking jumbo that lump. shit up. Yeah. I used to, uh. And it's not nearly as good. I used no. to work the meat department at a, a grocery store. And we used, the guy, one of the guys we used to sell meat to had his own meat and seafood shop. And he brought us crab cakes once and. He was like, yeah, and he was like, he had like ten of them for us because there was a lot of us back there. He's like, he did all this with one can of lump crab meat. I'm like, mm, this is gonna be a lot of fucking filler. And yeah, can it you? Was it's hard because those things are about double the size of a can of tuna, and he made ten of them, ten hockey puck sized fucking crab cakes. And they were whatever. whatever. Nice, good to, story. Yeah, I, I it was a great story. <laughs> Should write it down. Right here, I'll try to save it. Um, <laughs> it's impossible. No, I'm just kidding. I used to work. At, <laughs> I'm not gonna do any better. I used to work at a seafood place, and I had like when I was a teenager, and I had to like fill the little souffle cups that you would get like a cocktail and tartar sauce, mm. and they would make the co- the tartar sauce. It's just it's like relish and mayonnaise. So they would like just take these like gallon sized things of mayonnaise um, and they would put them in like the giant mixing bowls and it would yep. be like them shaking it out and it'd be like blah, 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 blah. Oh, it yeah. was so gross Did- <laughs> and then they'd put it in the giant like gallons vat and then I'd have to take a teaspoon and stick my fucking hot sweaty summertime arm in there oh. and fucking scoop out like little tablespoons and put them in jar I was so Neatly. gross and I guarantee you, you got home, and like three hours later, you're just sitting there, like, watch Steve, and all of a sudden, you're like, no, I'd have mayonnaise. To, I'd have to literally, <laughs> sh- yeah, I smelled like shit. Actually, in the summer, it was so, I was kind of gross when I was a kid. I would, like, go to work, work all day, and then I'd want to go to a party or something like that. I'd run and jump into the ocean. Like, if I didn't have time to go shower, I'd jump into the ocean, which was better than going straight to a party. True. Covered in, like, Smelling like Teriyaki restaurant. Oh, of course. Smelling like restaurant, yeah. Smelling like fried food. Jumping in any body of water is better than going just, raw. And then I just towel off the put on God. other sweaty clothes and go out. I remember I was dating a girl when I was working, when I was cutting meat at the shop, right? And I would get off and just go to her house. And as soon as I walked in, she would just go, hand me a towel and say, shower. I'm like, God I, damn that's, it. That's, that's reasonable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, fair. But. If you work in the food, and I mean, I worked at a nice restaurant in, uh, like, a Stephen Star restaurant in um, Philly, and they would like it was, a, like, pod, which is like sushi and whatever. It's like American, nice. right? But like, there it would be like you would get home and you'd smell like fried fish, not mm-hmm. what you want to smell like. And we had a dress really nice too. So all of my course. like blazers, everything, and just like our, <laughs> my sister and I lived together and both worked there. It was just like, ugh. It's not like you're not. We were around. hostesses. We weren't even in the kitchen. We were just like in the front. And then you'd just get home mm. and you'd be like, you would just have to walk in that kitchen one time, and for the rest of the night, like you smelled like that kitchen. Yeah, I'd have to yeah. if I wanted to go out after that job. I'd have to go home, change, and go back. Like out. look at all these nice blazers you have. Like don't smell those. It's an atrocity. Like, why do you smell like fried? I don't know how. <laughs> you know? Just tell me. Like, I don't. You are having a stroke right now. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck I pulled off my 20s because I worked in kitchens for like years and years and I was actively in bands and going to shows a lot of nights of the week. So I would like either leave work, shower, and then go to Philly Yeah. for something. And I would do all that shit in one day, multiple days a week. I don't know how the fuck I pulled that off. 
Well, and it's easy. Probably somehow it wasn't a stinky dunk, kid. And nobody told you. I could have also been a stinky kid, but I don't think so. No, I always had that phobia of being a fat kid, of being like, oh my God, do I stink? So I would just instantly, as soon as I get off work, I would run out, I would shower. Like, what, do you, what do you think? Did you pass? <laughs> I would. Eh. I'm just curious. I don't really wear deodorant or anything. How you doing? And actually, on my car right here, I was thinking, like, I wonder if I smell. I hope we're not in a tiny hot shed. <laughs> <laughs> it's a well. studio, okay? <laughs> don't ruin our dream. God. What? So you guys are doing better than me. I can't figure out the video. <laughs> if you can figure it out, Jesus If I Christ. can, anybody can. I probably can. can, but I just have no patience. Did you bring other news, bud? I hey, did bring some current happening? events. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just take over. <laughs> it's quite all right. It's quite. It's quite all right. So, are you are you are you a fan of Taylor Swift? Yes or no? <laughs> at all? I could really. You could live. I could take her or leave her, and I'd prefer to leave her. I I'm with you on that, but but I'm, I'm not like one of these people. Fuck her. Yeah. <gasps> what is that? That's deal? weird. She's it's, come yeah. out with like twelve albums consistently over the course of. The of last, original like, 20 music. 20 years, and so there's she's got a big following. And right. You, and you can dislike an artist without getting angry about it. She's yeah. Matt Rife of pop music. <laughs> <laughs> Rife. Rife. <laughs> Matt well, Rife. <laughs> well, on her, on her like, <laughs> like record-breakingly sold-out Eras tour right now, mm. the... She she's playing, like, a fucking shit ton of her material, and it's, like, three, four-hour long shows. And her fan base, like the dedicated ones, Swifties, they call themselves. The the Swifties are like to 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 sacrifice, like to possibly not miss a song that they could see, or like wearing diapers. Yeah, wearing fucking diapers. I did hear about this. Yeah, I sent him this today. Old news. No, I'm kidding. (laughs) It is old. Well, this is good because a lot of her fans have flat asses. There was a so picture. True. There was a picture. So then it's like you put this on. Yeah. And then actually throughout the night you end up have you get a bigger and a bigger ass. Could you? Because it's more full and full of shit. Because it's more full of shit. Could, could you imagine you're doing? No all one's right? shitting. Yeah, but imagine if like I you're at not. that point just piss on the fucking floor. If you're doing like you know, for some reason you're hooking up with a girl at a Taylor Swift concert and you go to grab That's ass good. and it makes the diaper noise. <laughs> I would. These girls are pissing <laughs> in their pants to see every moment. You think that they're mediocrely making out with any of these drunk boys at the show? I, I they're s- not. I sent him this at a, a T Swift show. Fuck no, they're not about anything. Maybe, anything about boys at a Taylor. Maybe Swift like show. a month ago, somebody posted on Twitter. It was a picture uh, taken by a security guard at a Taylor Swift show, and it was. What, why is her friend doing this? I'm sorry, I have to cut you off. Like, what is? That's a great question. What, it's like wear the diaper, but what is her friend? It's yeah, like take why? a picture of me and my friend with my diaper. <laughs> so the, they put that on TikTok, and since then that account's been taken down too. Oh, oh wow! It goes against the community. Fucking censorship, man! This is Guidelines. the real cancel culture. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but uh, I can't pee in my pants. <laughs> I can't promote peeing in your pants. <laughs> but this security guard had taken a picture, and it was uh, a venue that had like um, lawn seating. But, like, the lawn seats were basically just metal folding chairs. And on these metal folding chairs, numerous ones was just gigantic shit stains. Where girls were pretty much just, or maybe boys too, were just going to, t- just letting it go while they were watching Tay Tay. It was just like, I got, like, I thought I dreamt it, but then I found that article. And I was like, Tom, you got to talk about this. <laughs> we need to, like, figure out. How to solve the mental health crisis in this country? <laughs> they should start with Swift, and I agree. They should start with the Swifties. Also, if you're doing a three-hour concert, don't be a dick. Like after the an hour and a half, don't be a dick. Go take a piss. Like after an hour and a half, like like look, go take a shit real quick, and there, then we, we got about thirty minutes, and then we'll start it up again. Well, there's a helpful Reddit thread. Uh, titled oh. what are your eras tour bathroom break songs that had over 400 comments <laughs> the best the comment with the most upvotes being if taylor swift doesn't need a bathroom break then i don't but <laughs> oh, that's a good point is she up there like pissing herself no well may, uh, maybe she's an alien they've got it's a, true i don't know she does outfit changes and shit they must have figured out something when they do like when they go to the under of the stage oh. 
They must have, like, a fucking catheter she, or something. she has, like, a body double for, like, a split second? To be Ooh, honest probably. with you, though, I don't think she could get away with that. Because no. there would be more people looking at pictures of, like, the two pic- Like, is it a body double? Yeah. Like, than anybody's ever worked pixel hard by, on, pixel by on, pixel, like, the yeah. FBI. Like, they, Her, and yeah. they'd be, like, <laughs> working harder than the FBI looking at, like frame to frame but could you imagine like seriously you know like they have like run back and like someone's like touching up her makeup the meanwhile she's pissing in a bucket some other intern is holding yes like, oh. that's what i'm thinking jesus that's a frontline worker if anybody it's like what i'd rather be that guy than the person <laughs> cleaning up shit chairs teenager shit it is off the chairs well if i'm if i'm cleaning up thousands of teenagers or one person's shit at least it's taylor swift's i guess <laughs> You're an adult, and you're talking to your children, and you're telling them, oh, yeah, I went, to a, I went to a concert, and I was pissing and shitting myself. That's how much that's how much I cared about things. You care about nothing. Didn't miss a single song. Sat through like, all four hours. How, you think, like, there's, like, some girl that's just, like, crossing her legs, like, God, I'm going to piss, I'm going to piss, I'm going to piss. And then she finally just, like, has had enough. She gets up to piss, and someone in the back's like, poser. And then she's like, all right, fuck it, and sits right back down again. <sighs> no. Just shaming her into s- sitting. I sit down. <laughs> corking. Fuck, dude, that's insane. I heard um, a totally different thing, and I didn't look into this at all, and I don't remember where I heard it. <laughs> oh, this is a classic. I have no evidence to support this bit. <laughs> that's right. Hey, I have no evidence to support this. It's <laughs> not my opinion. These are not financial advice. Um, <laughs> I heard something that like people were leaving the concerts, and they were having like amnesia. I read that too. They were like what? that, like there was something going on with Taylor Swift and like mind control. There's many articles and there's about people. A yeah. ton of people that went to these concerts, they left, and they literally have no recollection of the show. There's like other stuff that they don't remember, and they have like these like blips of like complete amnesia of things. When I was looking for more, and it wasn't like one story. It there's was, like, lots of them. When I was looking for that that but shitty I chair no photo, evidence. when I was looking for that <laughs> when I was looking for that shitty chair photo, there was dozens of articles from like accredited news sources of the Taylor Swift show at po- post concert amnesia from the Eras tour. And so, I was like, so what is that about? So they're walking out of the venue and it's like, what the hell did I just see? I think it's like days later. Damn. Yeah, but I will say I've gone to shows with my I went to a concert with my friend once she got wasted and um she turned to me at the end of the show and she's like, She's not gonna play power. She's not gonna play this song and I'm like, She played it twenty five minutes ago. <laughs> I've definitely done stuff like that myself. So also I went to a concert once and I, w- I went with like My brother, two of my brothers, my sister, my brother's girlfriend, my sister's boyfriend, and me. Um, And uh, nobody, everybody just wanted to stand up in the back and, like, drink. But I was like, I'm going to go, like, to the stage. I'm going to, whatever. I went down to the stage. This girl started, like, looking at me from across. Like, we were dancing. I was fucked up. Then she came over. And then, like, we kind of, like, started dancing with each other. At some point, we were, like, kissing. And then I was like, oh, I'm here with my family. <laughs> She's like, invite them. Like, oh, I was God. Like, in my mind, I was like, wait a second. I'm drunk. I love this. You're beautiful. This is amazing. But I do love this band. I did come here to see this band. Like, I was, like, having this moment where I was like, wait a second. I don't want to get distracted from what I'm here for <laughs> by this beautiful woman. But then Wait. also, like, 20, like, 10 minutes later after I was, like, and I don't, I was really fucked up, and I really, like, hope this person, like, doesn't, like, remember this or, like, they were also fucked up. Because I think I didn't really communicate any of that. I think we were, like, vibing, made out a couple times, and then all of a sudden I was, like, whoa, 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 whoa never mind. <laughs> oh and then just, like, kind of floated away. And... I mean, it was for the bo- best. It was the best thing to happen for both of us. But I wish that I had like articulated something to this person because I don't remember. How that. funny it'd be though. You guys are like in the middle of a moment, just making out, and all of a sudden you're just mushing her away. I'm going no. <laughs> or you're no, just like stop it. And there's like yeah, and and she's just like what the fuck? You're like, but this is my jam. You know, this is my song. I did like the song changed, and yeah. I was like, whoa. This no. is the song I came here for. Because sometimes you're fucked up and you're like 
Yeah. It's ass. Love you. You're beautiful. Your hair yeah. is amazing. But I don't really like when I'm fucked up in the dark making out, I'm not like, this is what your facial structure is. I'm going to remember that. Like, I always <laughs> fear that, like, other people have a better memory than me, and they'll remember me, but then uh, I have no real memory of them. I thought we had something special. And, like, and you're like, I don't know. And you're like, dude, the DJ was playing these J-O-I video, like, D- like songs. And D- like, DJ O-I happen. songs. DJ oh, yeah, I'm like, oh, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I have to I got go jerk sw- off a man. I got swept, <laughs> up, I got swept up in a moment. <laughs> Like God. But a few minutes later, like my sister did, kind of like pop up, like uh, you know, near we were we were at the TLA. It wasn't it's not that big. Mm-hmm. No, it's not. Apparently, what we learned. You from know, that. it's like the you know, there's like the top part where you mm-hmm. can yeah. drink at the bar, the but then like you go down, but it's like that space isn't that big. So I was also it's kind of just like, deceptively small. I really don't want like my family to be like. Oh, there's our slutty sister in the front. <laughs> well, we go hang out. With oh no, she's fucking a woman in the front. Well, you can just throw back and say, like, "Yeah, well, my sister's a cock block." So <laughs> none of that would have happened at a Shakira show. Oh yeah, you guys would have both been too mesmerized. My hips would have would have been like telling me <laughs> towards no the stage. <laughs> it's like, do what we have is more happening? news? Is this I do. What these papers mean? Okay, let's get through it. I do have more. A man was kicked out of the gym for staring at a woman working out, but he was blind. <gasps> hmm. I love this story. I love, love, love this story. Okay, hear more. A, a blind man was asked by a gym staff to leave the building after a woman accused him of staring at her. Footballer Toby Addison was born sighted, but from age 11 started to dramatically lose his vision, and by his early teens had lost 80% of his sight. The now 21-year-old has around 4% of his eyesight remaining. and it's He saw him... tits for the first time, and he was like, I'm blind! <laughs> <laughs> he was 11, he was like, oh no! Oh, He's man. Like, Ew, what an awful way to go out. Me. <laughs> when I, he ate when a he... bad tuna sandwich. Like, ah! <laughs> the mustard. There was mustard on it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. He was, he was approached it. by a, a woman furious who accused him of staring at her. He attempted to explain that he was blind, but she didn't believe him and called him a creep before getting him kicked out. Do we have a picture of what the woman was dressed as? I know that no. that's victim blaming, but that's crazy. Is this Matt Right? <laughs> no. God damn it. It's I saw the hair the first thing I thought Matt, of too. This is Matt Right before he got the chin implant. <laughs> is it not? Did, Come but, on. In okay. her defense, he doesn't have those weird milky eyes or no. nothing. He also didn't have the make me comfortable glasses. <laughs> He's like, she's like, there's no way you have this sick fade in your blind, dude. Why would you have a sick fade in your blind? And he's like, bitch, I didn't shape it up myself. <clears throat> he was staring straight ahead, and unfortunately, the woman was doing some exercises. I don't know what she was doing, whether it was squats or whatever, where you may be in a vulnerable, vulnerable position and maybe don't want to be stared at. She came over to me, and I didn't know she was talking to me at first because I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm just doing my thing. She said something along the lines of, Why do you keep staring at me? Stop. Don't be so creepy. <laughs> the gym staff asked him to leave for making the woman uncomfortable. And he, he was like, oh, I'm, oh, no, sorry, I'm blind. I had my cane with me. It was folded up in my lap, but she wasn't having any of it. She didn't even buy the cane. Anybody this can buy is other cane. men's fault, and I have to blame <laughs> other men because there are oh, men that would true. show up to the gym with a cane and be like, oh, "I'm blind." <laughs> it's like, what is it, Johnny Knoxville? <laughs> he suspects the woman thought the cane was a prop and part of his disguise. Exactly. It's a creep on. Women. He was also wearing like a sleep mask. He's like, no, uh, seriously, I'm this, blind. I. It's just like the the article has to include a picture of the woman for me to have an opinion. Because mm-hmm. if it's like the hottest woman in the world, it's like okay. She's, she's like, this is her pr- problem. She's got to, like, deal with this all the time. But if it was just, like, a really average-looking woman, it's like... Mm-hmm. Also, if she was super hot and he was just, like, grabbed her by her shoulders, like, oh, my God, you cured me. <laughs> you know what would be really funny? If he was, like, going up to her and he was like, is this the Stairmaster? Yeah. <laughs> Where's the... <laughs> is this the elevator button? <laughs> is that that butterfly thing where I squeeze him down? <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't feel where's like my. That, ha- where's that hip abductor machine? <laughs> this doesn't feel like my handler. Handler. Is this the dick thruster over here? <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking fantastic. That's that's pretty much all I had for news today. Um, I'm trying to think if I heard any really good news. Sorry. We have this. 
regular occurring segment that's very misogynistic, but we we do it anyway. Right, well, give, can I it's, have another it, beer? If we're gonna yes, get you into can. Misogynistic. Uh, it's it's yeah. called. I'm gonna kill a deer on my way home. <laughs> there's tons of them in this area too. Plenty to choose from. But uh, we had this segment that was called Evil Tits, and what it was is you find a woman who's done really horrible things, and you discuss discuss if her looks and and body or whatever thing would get her out. Of the horrible things she's done. Oh, this should be called the shallow how segment. Yeah. Well, listen. <laughs> you like, remember that movie? Yes, of it was a great fucking movie. But it was like the hot chick was ugly. Didn't he have he... like? Didn't he have a tail? He did. That was, yeah. that was George Costanza. His friend. Had his, a tail. Yeah, his friend did. <laughs> um. But like. Uh, but the hot girl was ugly in that movie. Wasn't it? Because they make her personality so bad. Wasn't it fucking like Gwyneth Paltrow? It yeah. was Gwyneth Paltrow. Yeah. But, uh, I act like he, he. I love when someone pretends that they but they know everything about something. It's like, well, didn't he have a tail? It was like what is Paltrow? Like I've all, I've definitely seen it. I just haven't seen Black's it recently. Best. It's Tony Robbins. He. Oh um, yeah, they got stuck in an elevator. They got stuck in an elevator. <laughs> it's honestly the most misogynistic movie that's existed, and it's so oh, funny. It's, it's so funny. You guys should watch it. But I've definitely seen it, but it definitely, it also goes into it, like, you know the whole premise is it is misogynistic. Okay, but so the the bit is ugly a, women's Like, one of the first ones we did was, like, Rachel, you know Rachel Dolezal is? Yes. And it was, like, she had just, like, re- started an OnlyFans when we started the bit, and we were just, like... Donly fans. <laughs> <laughs> It's right there. <laughs> Holy shit. Bold and it was like, fans. this what she has done outside of her OnlyFans. Like, does her OnlyFans get her out of this? And she didn't. And, like, Pelosi. Like, who would have won? But she has those weird old lady hands still. But, you know. She has an OnlyFans? No, no. she. but she had this picture of her walking on the beach with, like, her... Big grand- ass titties. Yeah, exactly. So we're like... All right, Nancy Pelosi. She would start an OnlyFans, but she's got so much money. Mm-hmm. How she don't she need that shit. That money? So we were like, all right, so Nancy's got that set, but does it, you know, does it excuse her? And we were like, first we were like, yeah, but then we saw that she had, like, the Emperor from Star Wars hands, and we are like, all right, nah, forget okay. about it. But who who did we give a pass? Oh, Jody Arias and Casey Anthony. Definitely for one Casey Anthony. That got yeah. a thing. Well... So based on their tits or just their general appearance? general look looks okay yeah it was just this really look, bad it's name essentially for it. looks versus crime so believe it or not we've had a very small amount of women on the show that weren't Tom's girlfriend so we decided to flip the script here I'm going to show this is going to be evil dicks okay I'm not going to show you dicks but. I'm just going to show you guys. I'm going to need to see the dicks to who have <laughs> who have done evil things. Reddit, do okay. your job, and you got to say if their looks give them a pass or not. I wish he had a picture of Matt Rafe. That would just be the funniest. <laughs> that would have been the funniest fucking <laughs> ringer. Now like, he hasn't done anything yet. I'm not going to give you. Okay, let me. At first, I'm not going to tell you what their crimes are. I'm just going to give you their first name and like a small thing about them. This first one I'm giving you. This is Joran. And Joran loves to travel. What do you think of Joran? This picture's so sinister. It's kind of hot. Mm. Um, it is pretty dark. But, but like menacing. the jug ears doesn't like do it. Like doesn't B- boost it up or or take it, it down. Um, I don't know. It's a weird angle. He is Scandinavian. If that helps too. He's got. He seems. Like he, I mean, he's got like relatively manly features. It's true. He's a good-looking guy. Yeah. Now, would I fuck him? Depends what he did. Now that <laughs> is Joran Vandersloot. Okay. Joran. Jo- yeah, is that how you pronounce it? Joran. Like urine. Like urine. Yeah. Well, like that's urine. well, that's honestly a fucking vote against him right now. Wow, but that he, is a uh, picture too. He bludgeoned a girl in uh, South America to death, and is also suspected of killing uh, Natalie Holloway. Who was a famous white woman that not really famous, but a white woman that went missing years and years ago? Aruba. And She's he, famous for going missing. Yes, exactly. exactly. <laughs> so, Famously missing. So he's been arrested. F- he's been he's been convicted of one crime, suspected of another. No. No. No pass. No, not a pass. I mean, he's he's okay. Yeah. That's not his best day either. I yeah. wouldn't stop watching the concert for him. I'll tell you that much. Oh, adult. Yeah. 
So. Now, this is so br- true. This is Brian, okay, and Brian fine. loves adventure. All right. Brian's, I mean, I guess, yeah, I don't know. He it's a better like, photo. He looks like yeah. a tech guy. But I probably would... Sw- I'd probably swipe left. Is that good, the good one is or the bad the, one? It's the bad one. Okay. Now, that is Brian Laundry, who uh, went on a cross-country trip in a Winnebago with his girlfriend, Gabby Petito, and she did oh. not come back from it. And he was later found guilty of her murder girl. and then just took his own life. I'm so... To be honest with you, hearing... I love camping, so I... <laughs> and I want to die, so I'm actually, like, more <laughs> interested in this guy. It was his Winnebago. That helps. You know what I mean? That little guy has his own Winnebago. Wait, so, like, I'm questionable about this guy's story. Mm. Because his mom his mom and his dad did love him enough to they try to hide him. him. They yeah, abed- they did. They, they ate and him that and is a red... That's a green flag. Yeah, yeah. good relationship Killing with Killing your family. girlfriend? Yeah. Red Less flag? So. I mean, <laughs> having no exes, green flag. And also, <laughs> all the people, living. even your best exes. friends, if you've been on a road trip with them for long, after about the fourth day, you want to kill them. Fair. Plus, it the is. videos I saw of her, too, were like, she was she did going look. crazy. Yeah. She was yelling at him. She was like, it was, seemed like volatile on both ends. Hens do be Not talking. worth, <laughs> not <laughs> like... I'm not saying because she was annoying he should have killed her. I'm just saying there's more to question. This guy yeah. seems... But it sucks because... Look at this pic. I mean, could you look more sinister, this first guy? Yeah. Urine? <laughs> <laughs> this guy, we're not giving him a pass on fucking him, like, because he's fuckable, but we're... There's reasonable doubt. Would you, totally. least grab a dr- <laughs> would you at least grab a drink with him? Even with that Henley on? What's um, hint? yeah, I mean, the shirt's gotta go. I wish he was wearing the first guy's shirt. This is the problem with men, is there's always, like, something you can Can't find dress. that you like, but there's also always something that you can find that you would change. Well, if you hate shirts, here's Aaron. No Aaron. shirt! Hell yeah, bro! Aaron is a very athletic... That's not Brendan Schaub, believe And loves not. sports. What's... Oh, you know what? The chair in this picture is really doing, like, an optical illusion where it's yeah, making it, it look like, like his like body hips. goes... He has, like, a... No chest, but then a big stomach that comes down. Trust I didn't me. even notice that until right now. He's a beefcake, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> um, he's honestly like, yeah, he's got no chest muscles. Look at his, his little tiny nipples. Mm. He Aww. doesn't. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't like this guy. I'm already tearing him apart. His tattoos are lame. True. Um, he's like, he looks like a guy where it's like this exact pose that he's doing and this facial expression is how he walks into a room. Ooh, <laughs> very valid true. fucking like, point. Hey, dude, I'm here. Yo, I'm here. Yo. What's this guy's name? That is Aaron Hernandez. Aaron to the house. <laughs> Aaron, Her- Aaron Hernandez was convicted oh, of killing the, two uh... people and then kill. And then he's also suspected of killing a couple others and then he eventually took his own life in prison. This is the football guy. He was an NFL guy, yeah. yeah. I think he was a patriot. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, I feel the New England Patriots. I like them. You're like I love America Patriots. It's like I hear that I look at them. I hate them. I hear a little bit of their story. They're horrific. But then I then I know a little bit about them, and I kind of yeah. There's, he was mentally ill. He had a really hard life. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm he's also. Him. I'm like he's next. Also, he's, also, <laughs> he's also loaded with money. Now this guy is very funny, and hope this is Randy. <gasps> Felt face. The, the, the one and only. Well, I don't think I could fuck a puppet because the whole like it's like what are you gonna? Well, you probably I'm gonna have the, peg him. You All probably, he can do you, is hand stuff. Yeah, you'd have to fuck him. Now, what he what is he guilty of? I'd have to peg him. My cock would have to be like the size of a man's arm. Eh, well, to really feel he's also an Australian man, so you don't know how he could be a small arm. I'm just mm. saying to feel anything, you got to stretch the hole out. You got to yeah. be big. You got to be bigger than the hole. But also, you got to think of it in this way: he's made of felt, so the cuddling would be just wonderful. Mm. It depends on the night, though. Oh, yeah. true. A hot summer night that wouldn't be good at or, all. Or, or in the winter, it's like your skin's really dry. Felt is not what you want to be touching. Oh, felt is point. creepy feeling. As far as his crimes, it's not. I'm. I, I like can't... a guy with big lips, not no lips. So I'm gonna say. Mm. 
You don't like a guy with no eyelids and no nose? <laughs> the no nose doesn't bother me at all. The That's no true. lips fully bothers Cause, me. Yeah, because I'm not s- kissing your nose. Yeah, then you can smell as bad as you, you want. Hear, you you hear care. that, Voldemort? <laughs> you hear that? Oh, yeah. You, you hear that, Randy? So I, I don't have do whatever I want. I don't have any data to back this up, as we've said before. <laughs> what do you do, this Australian bitch? <laughs> he was also in Australia the same time the wildfires broke out, but nothing ever came. Oh what? Of it. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Now, ain't there? Now, this is Jeff. Jeff loves to eat. We d- we established that I'm not fucking the puppet. Well, pff, you'll never we? guess. You'll Haven't never we? guess. You'll never feature for him. <laughs> oh, if he's gonna, if he would let me do, if, if, <laughs> if me, only. He, hey, I just have to say this publicly. If anyone's gonna let me feature, because I all I have to do is fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, go. honestly, wouldn't it, wouldn't I want to feature? Randy? I don't really care. Um, That's Jeff. He lo- he's a culinary student. Yeah. Um, culinary student. It's a fetching blazer, though. Yeah, I must say. it is. Or jacket. I mean, to be honest, I'd fuck this guy in the back first. This hot cop. Um, but striking resemblance to laundry. <laughs> Glasses, Uh-oh. little Relax. Bit different facial okay. hair. Okay, calm down. Um, <laughs> this guy's not really. The thing is, is like he's dressed for court, so I know he doesn't actually dress like this. That's no. giving me. I'm, I'm like questioning that, but uh, he's not. Yeah, no. Well, left. One horrible thing about him is he's from Cleveland. Boo. And the second thing is he's Cleveland cannibal Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah, I do know that this is Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah, so no one Some Jeff. of these people you're putting out yeah. here. But I'm trying to just p- comment just solely on yeah. their appearance. This guy here, Pretend. is uh, his name's Beat, and he loves to entertain. You got the beat, you got the... Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go with no. Yeah, well, why is that? <laughs> this is the shrunken head? <laughs> I'm like, the whole, I'm going like, I keep, there's a theme of like not liking what anybody's wearing. And then I go like, you're giving me these shirtless options and I'm saying like, oh, yeah. that's worse. Oh, is it, <laughs> oh so the chain didn't the bring The chain back? at the beach is not a good move because it's oh. like, Even right. a boxing glove? <laughs> all right. So what's going on with this guy? He, that is a uh, Howard Stern Whack Pack member Beetlejuice. Yeah. And he is responsible for fucking mad bitches all up and down the east coast hours and hours of entertainment yeah. if nothing else beetlejuice green yeah. I it's actually, beetlejuice green dude I think, i'm pretty sure i knew that guy too here let's go this another is one. martin <laughs> and he's very career driven all right martin it's like i thought that these were going to be like attractive people where it's like oh is it worth no one's really catching my eye not even martin damn dennis you gotta do better like clean cut boy I don't trust a person. I don't know who you guys are. I don't trust somebody with really thin lips. Fair, totally fair. I'm like, get out of my fucking face. This guy looks like Whoville. <laughs> well, that is Martin Screlly, whose pharmaceutical company came up with an AIDS treatment drug, and he's skyrocketed the price to where no one could possibly afford it, and made millions and millions and millions off of it. All right, well, now that I know he has money. <laughs> oh, he's got money. You can look past those now, thin bird lips. Huh? Are you into, like, hipsters no. at all? Sure. <laughs> this is Herman. All right, this looks like my ex. He had, wore a bowler hat, too, did he? <laughs> no, he would wear one of those, like, little newsy Ugh. hats. Oh, no. A Jeff one cap? A Ugh. hardcore dropout hat? <sighs> um, this guy's cute. Yeah. Well, that is Herman H. H. Mudgett, who during the Chicago World's Fair lured many people into his hotel where he killed them in a vat of acid. His body count is believed to be upwards of 60, but he's only been confirmed to kill 45. It's a lot of acid. Yeah. But it was in Chicago. You know. Better than Cleveland. Yeah, exactly. Totally fair. Now, this. (laughs) Cleveland doesn't rock. This you, is you, John. I just like none of these guys are like super so, hot. So Herman, you would or would not? I wouldn't go back with him. But Which way you swipe him? Usually, yeah, you wouldn't first, go back. First, inst- first instinct. I think he's good looking. I would agree. I would too. But you're saying about thin I lips? Yeah, I'd lips. be I'd be dead in the acid. 
dangerous. This but. is John, and he is a has a military background. See, this isn't fair. You're gonna put this guy in his in his uh, his jail? prison orange. Yeah, that's not fair. That was the best picture of him. That's the problem. Nah. I'm gonna go with no. Well, that looks like he's got a bad attitude. Well, You'd that, be right. <laughs> that is John Muhammad, part, one of the DC snipers responsible for killing ten people with a sniper rifle up and down I-95. Yeah, he sucks. He's a bad guy. Now this is Ted, and he's just a bachelor. Um, well, we know who this is. It's like you give me the. That is a nice Do I photo. Fuck? Yeah, it's like it's a great picture. Honestly, as a hundred percent heterosexual wink. I would fuck that guy. Everybody liked him, I'd kiss him for a reason. He was very charismatic. Um, he yeah, look his these eyes are getting me right, right now. Even looking at the page, oh, you could swim in them. Oh, mm-hmm. Jesus Christ! Did you I'd yeah? Did you ever read that? Uh, my my mom told me I should read that book. That's like the the stranger beside me. Yes, like I did. Co- I actually did, did read, that. read it. Yes, it good. He's a yeah. nonfiction guy. All right, well, yeah, I'd fuck Ted Bundy, Who but I wouldn't, wouldn't let him kill me. Well, I'm not saying you let him kill you. Actually, not all these guys are killers. Martin Screlly didn't kill anyone. But none of them are fuckers. Yeah. Oh, now, except for Beat. Yeah, Beat's definitely <laughs> and a fucker. Randy. And, and this next guy is a, this next guy. <laughs> this next guy is it's, a real. The, that, they're not gonna think it's funny, but I did just accidentally flip to Randy, so uh, that's funny. Accidentally, Ac- yeah, quote unquote, accidentally. <laughs> he did now that. this next guy, I don't really remember his first name, but he's a small business owner. How do you feel about this guy? Oh, this toad. That's awfully rude. I don't like the disdain you used when you said toad like that. Toad. <laughs> yeah. He could be a frog. This toad. This toad. I could never sound more dog. This toad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he took your toad, him. <laughs> um, yeah, I wonder if fuck a, a toad. He's a small business owner. Yeah, no, I'm not, a, I'm not about to sh- fuck a struggling entrepreneur either. Nah, that's fair. He's I would a ask man, him, I'd ask a man him for a dream. dumbbell, though. He's a man with a dream, dude. It's heartless. Dude. No, it's heartless. like you, 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 you kicked Nancy Pelosi out because of her weird hands. Look at this motherfucker's hands. Mm, I think he's only got three fingers. Slimy. Exactly. So that way, when he fists me, it doesn't hurt as much. They're slimy and All right, sticky. Well, this though. is your guy, but yeah, that's definitely my guy, dude. <laughs> um, what what's this it? guy? This is a little bugger, dude. Oh, nothing. He's just a little guy hanging around. He is so cute. He is. Isn't what's he? his name? I don't know. I haven't named him yet. Look at him. What 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 is he telling you that his name is? He's telling me that he's above names. He's a year oh, three thousand. Come on, guy. you can do better than that. You got a yes and. Don't say no. Um, his name is Philippe. Come on, look at him, Philippe. That's Philippe. Yeah, cause he Philippe's on out of here. He Philippe's from pad to pad. Yeah, he's flipping yeah. all over these pads. But he's actually not French. He's French Canadian. Okay, so if I had to fuck, marry, kill one of these guys. Oh, there's a good yeah. I'd go Ted. I'm marrying Ted because mm. he was really organized. He was. He was also a lawyer. And I'm I have OCD, so I like someone who's pretty meticulous. He also racked up his numbers, which means he's committed. I'm fucking this guy. The ass. Herman. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I know you're gonna put like a thing up, but I'm I'm just doing Whoa. it myself. She <laughs> fucks <laughs> murderers. I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm being obnoxious. Um And which one you the killing? Modellas. If she pulls out Randy. I'm killing the, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm killing Randy. You'll never feature you One less comedian to compete with. Oh, Holy. shit. You hear that, oh, Felt? Shit. I yeah, know that shit was that Get cut- at me, Felt face, little fucker. That's some cutthroat shit right there. Felt face, motherfucker. <laughs> and who are you killing right off the bat? Oh, wait, no, I I Randy. I'm gonna kill she Randy. You're killing Randy. Randy. I'm oh. fucking this old school guy, the Herman. Yeah. Herman. If I had to pick somebody else to kill, it would be the Tats. And be Tats No Shirt. Aaron Aaron. Yeah. I'm here to party, Aaron. And no one wants to hang out with a dude with CTE. No, nah, he's probably yeah. slurring. That's stuff. the thing is, is I. Oh, man, by the way, that. Bring it back to what's sad about him. I actually. I feel bad for Aaron Hernandez. <laughs> As I say, right. he could take a punch to the head, you know what I mean? Also, that, H, that Herman guy was also believed to be Jack the Ripper. He was one th- of the suspects. I think that was disproven. It though. was, but he was once believed to be Jack the Ripper. So mm. who cares? So can oh. anybody yeah. be though? Because you know Americans be trying to get everything. He started a rumor about himself. Probably he's like, oh, I'm a big, <laughs> big shot. Need to drum up some traffic. Yeah. you know. He's like, you know, I'm Jack the Ripper. Want to come back to my acid hotel? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, that's not. That's a big jump from pour, putting people into buckets of acid. Yeah. And 
wanting well, to tear the. They also give him like out. points for creativity. He's not just stab, stab, or shoot, or strangle. He's just like, that's vast. Yeah, there's that's lots of thing. women that can that's convince themselves to be into. I mean, all these guys that are like convicted murderers mm-hmm. go to jail and like are famous about it. They end up having like pen pals and wives yeah. and shit. Yep. Like. Bitches be crazy. Look, I thought of it because, like, they I was thinking be. about how the fact, like, Charles Manson had, like, numerous kids while he was still incarcerated. Like, he was still making babies. Like, he was still fucking getting girls pregnant and shit like that. Wow. I'm like, he, you know, I don't think he's a catch. And people were trying to fuck the Night Stalker. Remember Richard Ramirez? Skinny. Toothless. Stunk. Yeah, this is like. This is what. Half. This is a. This is like the PSA to men if you're trying to get girls. Do something. Murder. Important. <laughs> Do something noteworthy. Yeah. Be committed. You know, like they're like, oh, this guy, he doesn't have commitment issues. Yeah. He committed all these crimes. That's like a woman's like biggest turn off is that you can't commit. Well, here's the thing though. It's also these guys. Go ahead. We're very committed, committed to it. You also think, like, one of the pe- things that turns women off is guys with mommy issues, right? Now, but what if, if you those... kill your mom, she's but, out of the picture. Yeah, but what if those mommy issues lead <laughs> him to becoming one of those guys? A serial killer. Then maybe mommy issues aren't so bad. What I'm saying is, I love my mother. How come no one swipes right on me? What the fuck? No, I'm just... Well, you could Are also... Are you on dating apps? Not anymore. Yeah. You, no. could, you could also think, like... a one, depressing. One like Brian so Laundry. Yeah. Whose whose parents uh, aided and abetted him? Yeah, that's a great relationship. Some ride or die, family. mom and dad. Hell yeah, dude. And a a good relationship with mom and dad. That's a pretty nice quality. You think your parents would do the same? No, I think my dad would. My mom would not. My mom's too German. She'd be like, "No, he definitely <laughs> did it." What do you mean? Illegal stuff? No, take him away. If money was involved, like a reward, I think my dad would snitch me out <laughs> instantly. My mom lives in Mexico, so I'm. If I do anything wrong, I'm getting on a plane. I'm out of here. Damn, damn, you're like Andrew Dufresne and fucking Shawshank, <laughs> Never and your fucking mom's fine, and dude. your mom's Morgan Freeman. My dude, mom, my mom would. No, be, she's Morgan. No, my mom. Mom's my mom. Oh. No, my mom would have. To, my mom's cooler than me. Yeah, but how sick would that be? Like you go down there. Like she's more grounded. Your mom's working on an old boat on the shore of like the Gulf of Mexico, and like you just like wave to each other, and then like the movie rolls credits. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. I mean, just show. she's just chilling down there. Like, Actually, when I went I went down to visit my mom for two weeks. And um, two weeks is a long time. So it's, it's like, oh, you're on vacation. Anything. You're in Mexico. But it's like, a lot of the time, it's like, I'm with my mom. So it's like, what are we going to do? We watched Godfather. We watched <laughs> Godfather Part 2. <laughs> well, those things are at least a week. Well, it's like, we could, it was just like, what'd you do to, in Mexico? It was like, I watched Netflix with my mom. At least you picked long movies. I mean, that's kind of smart. That's true. Yeah. It was so fun. I had, I came. I wouldn't just. Uh, it's like, yo, mom, you gonna watch the Lord of the Rings trilogy? <laughs> I've never, <laughs> I've never watched the Lord of the Rings. Well, if next time you got time to kill in Mexico, <laughs> there you go. Fuck beaches, fuck anything. I went life. on a six-hour flight, and one of the movies was Lord of the Rings that was like on the thing, and I was like, I've never had three hours to watch this movie. I'm gonna watch it. The music is so like melodic and like lully. I I just kept falling asleep. Mm. <laughs> so I I kept waking back up, starting it from where I fell asleep, and then playing it out. And then I only made it an hour and a half through the movie in a six and a half hour flight. It's well, like you have a nar- like a narcoleptic movie you review. I just kept it. going like, all right, this time I'm really gonna stay awake and try. <laughs> and then after that, I this was like eight years ago. I was like, after that, I was like, all right. It's like lots I of talking. I tried, guys. <laughs> lots of talking around a table. This one guy's long hair. This walking. guy's got a fucking sword. This dude's got big ass feet. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Walking in the woods. Bo- <laughs> kind of boring. <laughs> well, when I was a kid, I never was like invited to the start of a movie. So I'd always like come in and watch like parts that have already or like my i'd show up at a friend's house they'd already be halfway through a movie i've never seen i would be like too shy to say i didn't see it i just sit down and start i'm like so i have seen parts of every movie and so then i'm like okay like watching like lord of the rings too i'm like did this guy die in the first one and like whatever i watch this guy fall off a bridge but i don't know the context of any of that like what are they gonna do though start it all the way over oh Oh, fuck no just start would be like seven (laughs) just start (laughs) splicing movies together like 
I know the first half of Can't Hardly Wait and the second half of Lord of the Rings is like they just make them into one movie. <laughs> it's in shallow how Lord of the Rings they yeah. mashed up. <laughs> it's like, yo, Bilbo won't fuck this one chick. <laughs> That's why they all look hideous in that movie. It's not that they're hobbits. It's that... Um... <laughs> <laughs> They're completely unfuckable. Tim Rob, uh, uh, Robbins or whatever he he uh, he he made a, a spell on Bilbo Baggins or whatever the fuck. How great would be like Hobbit women like just go with Hobbit men's like I would have fucked him, but you see how hairy his goddamn feet were? Weird. Oh fuck. No, you're gonna just be into the thing biologically that is willing to fuck you. I think that that's kind of it's true. I don't mean like I mean right now like as humans oh this dog's willing to fuck me that's what I mean I'm thinking like you know evolution so with like if you're a gross little hobbit you're gonna be into the gross hobbits you're not gonna be like oh I want to fuck a bird or so something. like if what's his name from the movie uh, Vigo Mortensen mm-hmm. would the fuck like a hobbit would that be like a bestiality type thing or I don't know they're humanoid oh. I think anyway. We have another segment. Oh my that, gosh. That we reserve strictly for guests. How many segments? This is the last one. Okay. I only ask because I have to pee. And we did that whole segment about having to pee. We so. can do a pee break. No, no, no. Let's do the segment. Because I got to go too. I mm. might make it through. How long is the segment? The segment after it gets kind of long. I one. thought you said this the, is the, the last segment. The recommendation one. Do we do a pee break? Is that clunky? No. no we can edit it All right. Well, I'm like Taylor Swift. I'm going to pee my pants. <laughs> This is not the Eras Tour. Pull that all right. Pull that microphone in there. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. It'll never happen again. All God right. damn. This no. yeah, this is all right, great. this is twelve of the hardest questions you'll ever be asked, Sarah. And we're back. And um this is a segment called Gripping Inquiries where <gasps> okay. we really Well that's not nice last twelve week. Is a, twelve is a lot. It that's is so many. No glad worry, dude. we peed. Yes, exactly. All right, question number one. Are you are you prepared? What do I? Yeah, I'm good. You hear about that sub? What sub? Mm, she hasn't heard about the sub. Oh, the submarine. Yeah. Have you heard about it? <laughs> I'm like a tuna sub. Um, yeah, I heard about the submarine. Correct that's answer. You questions. have heard about it. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Correct answer. I don't know these by yes. the way. Yes. That's funny. Question number two. Okay. Did you believe Jewel, the singer Jewel? You have heard of her? Yes. Did you believe her She's when... She's the white Shakira. <laughs> yeah. Did you believe her when she said her weird ass titties were real? Um, if she's describing them as weird ass, then like... I am. Oh, okay. If she's, they're weird, she's then they're real. She's describing them as real. If they're weird, then they're real. Mm. They look like implants put on top of A cups, but they didn't really try to mask it at all. Mm. It was Those weird. Those might be real. Yes, I think they're real. Yeah, I know that's fair the enough. wrong answer. Cor- but. Nah, correct answer. Fuck it. All right, here's this. I don't mean to get political, but this is a political question. Okay. Who is the cooler Biebs? Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. Or Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Bibi Met- Netanyahu? Um, I'm going to go with... I mean, I have to say Justin Bieber no matter what, but this is a close call. I see you're pro-Palestine is what you're saying. Um, I'm, I'm pro... Uh, Are you just a believer? I'm a believer. It's a correct I, answer. I believe. Correct answer. In Allah. <laughs> I, I believe in Allah and his yeah, teachings. Yeah. You hear that? Inshallah. You hear all that? <laughs> all two Israeli people that might listen to this? Shalom, everyone. That's exactly right. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> Mazel This fuckers. is a little. <laughs> this is a little behind the curtain of our whole operation here. Okay. Number four. Tom threw away his high school diploma. <laughs> Because he claims it's pointless and stupid. True. It's true. It's true. How much of a badass renegade can one man be? What would be more badass is not graduating from high school, but I would say Fuck. being aware, Suck it. aware of how <laughs> insignificant your accomplishments are is pretty badass. So, I took five years to get out of high school. Does that make me more of a badass renegade than him? No, that makes you an idiot. Ooh, suck I, it, idiot. I mean, I, <laughs> I think throwing your high school, it's like it, anything required by the state to do is not an accomplishment. So it's like, oh, you got a diploma. It's like, you didn't have to do this. <laughs> Correct answer. You did have to do this. Correct answer. I am an idiot. So yeah, it, it all <laughs> yeah. checks out. And guess what? 
I didn't need it a one time ever since the day I you graduated just, high school. You just until, said they asked for it. Until I applied to the Delaware local 451 Iron Workers Union, and they, wanted me, and they wanted me to present one. And I said, I will have to get a copy. I do yeah. not have that anymore. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. I don't okay. have my high school diploma. I mean, I just... Fuck I don't it. even know... What, uh, what? <laughs> Fuck diplomas, you know what I'm saying? I don't uh, think I have my, like... I don't know. Uh, is the correct answer, <laughs> yeah, yes. I don't know. That's, that's, that's good. I like it. All right, question number five. Moving right along. Okay. Living in a sewer, radioactive ooze, and their natural smell, how awful did the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle smell? They smelled good because they smelled like pizza. Ooh. Yeah, but does pizza smell overcome sewer smell, yeah, turtle smell? pepperoni pizza. True. Fucking true. True. It's God damn it. It's the beef, baby. God damn it. All right. Question number six. <laughs> she's, she's murdering this. Question number six. I'm gonna yeah, get... I'm like Matt Rife. <laughs> Matt Rife. Matt Rife. <laughs> Question number six here. This is a little more like on the metaphysical plane of things here. Okay. Is the earth flat so God can hide his boners like I used to hide mine behind a civics book when I was in high school? Um, we, I saw this meme the other day that was like, it was a really good argument. Oh. It was a cat, it was a cat on top of a flat earth knocking something off of the earth, and it said, if the earth was flat, cats would have knocked everything off of it already. It's true. Cats do be doing that shit. And I, that was like the most convincing argument for the earth being round that I've ever heard in my life. So her answer is cats, and that is the correct answer. All right. Always comes back to cats. Now, I don't know if you've figured this out about me yet but i am a huge fan of pornography so this comes from that what question number seven once she reaches the age of 60 will adult film actress abella danger go by abuela danger (laughs) she should yeah i agree that's a better idea than the joy dj i'm telling you abuela danger dude i would fucking subscribe to anything she did now this one is a real thinker of a question and it involves anatomy and i don't mean to get gross and all obgyn here but why are vaginas vertical they put the clit right at the top so guys could like a lighthouse find it Hmm. and then you guys still Hmm. fuck it up now all the you're gonna like they made that shit they're trying to like get you to understand the top's the most important thing. The bottom, the bottom. You go underneath the bottom. That's also nice. But mm-hmm, yeah, I think mm-hmm. it's like that's my best. You sticking with that answer? I don't know. I never really thought. Here's the correct answer about my pussy being ver- a vertical line. Well, this is why it's not horizontal. Because then, if you got on a sliding board and went down it, it would go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's good. That's better. So I, she just said I didn't get that one right. She just said I'm right, so that is the correct answer. All right, question number nine. Did you ever get real choked up listening to that one vitamin C song about staying friends after high school graduation? Yeah, what's going on with high school? <laughs> you been thinking about high school graduation? The graduation oh, song, I, I was, diplomas. It, yeah, dude. I threw that Very song studious. out of my mind. It's like, yo, dude. Like, are we gonna be friends after we move on in life? <laughs> Change to we remember yeah. all the times we Can I? <laughs> had to get See? You now, here's the question. You remember that song. But I couldn't d- wait to graduate and get the fuck out. Same. See, I hated every day of it. See, we remember that song, but how many people from high school do we remember? Too many, mm. sadly. I'm Too not many. friends with anybody from my high school. She's no. not friends with anybody from Shout high school. Shout out Mainland 09. <laughs> She's not friends with anybody from high school. Correct answer. Okay. I'm cool like that. Now this is, we just discover if you're a smarty pants or not. This is question number 10. Delaware, which is the state you're currently in. Mm -hmm. In case you didn't know that. Delaware has a higher population than five U.S. states. Can you name two of them? Rhode Island. Correct. Um... Do I only have two guesses? No, you have as many guesses as you want, but you got to name what? two of them. Well, that, that's, so if you run through guesses. all 50, you fucking hack the system. Um, Rhode Island's easy. I'm going to go with Vermont. I'll give you two more guesses. That's incorrect, but I'll give you two more guesses. Um, 
Louisiana? Mm -mm. New Orleans, no way. Oh, true. By the way, Delaware has 970,000 people. That many? Mm Mm-hmm. Wow. What are, like, other little connecting states? I'll give you I'll give you a clue. Don't think of little. Yeah, think sparse. Well, I was thinking like, like oh yeah, like South Dakota. Bingo. Okay. There you go. That's two. Mm. The correct answers were Wyoming, North Montana. Dakota, South Dakota, Rhode Island, Fuck. and Alaska. So oh, I could have guessed Alaska. You are a smarty pants. People forget about Alaska. I just did. And they should. I never forget <laughs> about Alaska. They have bears there and bears are great and majestic. Bears are in all of those other states as well. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Maybe not Rhode Island. Maybe. But probably. There's bears, twinks, all kinds of things in Rhode Island. Yeah, Mm -hmm. they got it all. Number 11. We're coming right along. We're just down to the fucking final two here. Number 11. Do you think all those science nerds bum out really hard when Rogan inevitably brings up karate hugging? (laughs) (laughs) Karate hugging. What's a karate hug? Like when two dudes in their pajamas hug each other and roll around on the ground? Oh. And a bunch of people are like, word! Like that. Um, if they're, it's like, if it's like he has on, like, Neil deGrasse Tyson, right? And yes. then he starts talking about MMA, yeah, I for sure think that that, they're like, oh, why are you <laughs> doing this? Exactly. Imagine you're this guy's like, I went through 30,000 years of school, you know, I know every planet's, like, internal makeup. I'd love to see someone choke out Neil deGrasse Tyson, And, and, <laughs> and Rogue is just like... Yo, did you see this dude knock out that other dude? And you're just like, God damn it, what have I been at school for? Correct answer. You're fucking killing it right now, dude. Shout I'm telling you. Rogan. Now, the 12th question. Are you a fan of the band Slayer? Slayer. So you're familiar. Are you familiar? Um, I'm not like a huge... I wouldn't say I'm a huge metal hat. Okay. But I'm not like a... I No. I wouldn't... I... Here's how I would describe this. I would not... I've never turned Slayer on. Okay. Myself. And I would not wear a Slayer t-shirt out of fear of a Slayer fan. Specifically a man... Name name three songs. Yelling at me to name three songs. Like, name three songs. I want you you to give this a try (laughs) anyway, because I believe in you. Okay. Okay. Bonus question. Finish this Slayer lyric. Oh, no. Okay. I put the sing in single... Ain't worried about no ring on my finger, so you can tell your friend, shoot your shot when you see him. That's okay, he already... Sorry, I was thinking while you were saying this, and I blacked out a little bit, <laughs> but I, I was thinking while I was like, you could have... I feel like a, like there could have been two quotes here, and one of them would have been this, and one of them would have been like a Taylor Swift lyric, and it would have sounded sing- similar, like a ring on my finger... Um, wait, read the, okay. just the last line. I'll do the whole thing, because I'm just that nice of a guy. But think about Taylor Swift when you're listening to the, like, the listeners. They need to think about Taylor Swift first. Okay, fair enough. There I, you go. I Some of them the can't sing, stop thinking about her. The sing and single. Ain't worried about no ring, ring on, on my, my finger. finger. Ain't worried about no. Okay. So you can tell your friend, shoot your shot when you see him. That's okay. He already... Dot, dot, dot. He already... It's kind of right. What's sorry? <laughs> he already be him. Close enough. He's already in my DMs. Uh, oh, I'll give her correct answer anyway. Per- what Slayer this? song was that? Perfect score. Whose lyrics are these? Slayer. Slayer. Did you never heard of Slayer it. before? Yeah, it's what, Slayer. What Slayer song is that? I don't actually know the name of the song. I put oh, the sing and single. <laughs> Ain't no ring on my finger. Like, this could be any... This could have been any lyrics. Oh, it's Lizzo. Uh, Shh. It's Slayer. See, that's what I'm saying. This is Lizzo. It's Slayer. He was if you Lizzo. actually said these are Lizzo <sighs> lyrics, I think I would have gotten that. I, because what I you was like, I know that this, this is, is Slayer. Not- <laughs> this will all be edited out. I don't think so. <laughs> Son of a bitch, she's ruining the bit that's been in episode one on. Because I'm too Dare smart. You. you can't fool me, motherfucker. You're too, you're too smart because you know some Lizzo lyrics? I'm too smart because I've spent all my time, my whole entire life, <laughs> hanging out with goofy men. Mm. And I don't trust a goddamn thing that they ask me. <laughs> How great would it be, though? So, say you're on Rogan and he starts talking about karate fighting and you're just like... You know Lizzo? 
<laughs> just start, as soon as he starts talking about kickboxing, yeah, right. like, Yo, I like would, why a man great till he got to be great? <laughs> <laughs> I would pay twelve ninety nine a month for Spotify if Rogan was never allowed to talk about music again. Oh, God. Music. M- music yeah. or fighting? There's certain things. No, he knows he can, about fighting. He can save yeah. the fighting for the okay. fighting episodes, but he yeah. can't talk about music no more. Ugh. <sighs> He, uh, he he had he had on Killer Mike and he was talking to Killer Mike about Jimmy fucking Hendrix, <laughs> and I'm like, dude, you gotta fucking <laughs> knock it off. I get it, but it's like also it's like, dude, he's like such a he's a fucking like multi millionaire. He's like he doesn't give a shit. Yeah, do whatever you want. Yeah. Oh man. Anyway, that's actually kind of funny if you get like the most like. <laughs> now that I think about it, if you get the most like accredited scientist, I'm like, you ever smoke DMT? <laughs> it's like that's actually kind of funny now that I think about it. Oh well. You did a fucking wonderful job on that. That's a. L- now we're gonna move on to okay. homework. Yeah. Oh, this no, is I don't know if Tom homework. broke in on this one. I passed the test and I still have homework. Yeah, dude. Yeah, we all do. This is fun homework. Well, this it's is- optional for you because you're okay. a guest. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, I told, I, I told you, uh, after last week's episode, that I'd include you if you, if you choose to. Okay. So, uh, last week we had on Jeff Roser, mm-hmm. and. Uh, we ask our guests to assign us one piece of music and one piece of comedy, and then we will report on those things the following week mm-hmm. okay. in said homework. Segment. And every week we also do the same thing to each other. To each other. Oh, yes. I didn't watch any. I should have. Okay, I misunderstood the assignment. It's all good. You're so I didn't just... watch the things that you guys are going to talk about, but That's I have something it, to we only, request. We only talk about them briefly recommend. anyway. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. Um, but do you want to get into what Jeff brought to the table? Yeah, so first he assigned us a record I've never fucking heard of called uh, Example by a band called Four Squirrels. Mm-hmm. And my notes are something about Jeff. I should have seen this coming, but I still <laughs> but I still didn't. It sounds like a more upbeat ride, like the band ride. Mm-hmm. And I enjoyed almost every second of this, especially the first five songs, nine out of ten. Wow. I quite enjoyed it. Yeah. Four squirrels. Check them out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wrote a pretty standard lo-fi garage rock. Musically, it's pretty good, but the vocals have definitely have some rough spots. Uh, the singer kind of overreaches quite a bit and falls flat in some spots. But all in all, not a bad list in six out of ten. Mm. Wow. So thank you, Jeff. I appreciate that. It's and critical. That record was from 95. Was it? Okay. I never once heard of it. It was probably because you weren't alive then. I was four. Same. <laughs> I Hell was yeah. 45. Yo, shout out to being four. That was cool. I was 45. Good. Yeah. He also brought us the comedy special uh, Bearable by Hampton... Yount. Yount? Yount? It was a... I thought it was an album. I listened to it. It's the same. So maybe it is just an album. Fuck mm-hmm. me. I called him a slightly more effeminate Tony Hinchcliffe. Ooh. Uh, his aerial cast so it's a woman? Is that, <laughs> yeah, yeah, is that fucking, fucking true? Impossible? The Ariel Castro bit was really funny. The mm. Russia chunk was pretty good. And I, I love the idea of the creator of Human Sacrifice focusing on one guy. Gotta get rid of Kevin. <laughs> I did just see a tweet the other day that was like, there are no, name one funny female comic and someone commented Tony Hinchcliffe. Oh, man. <laughs> it's pretty goddamn funny. And I thought it was hilarious. He's a I love when little, people comment shit He's like a that. dainty little guy. Uh, he's self-aware of it, though, which is funny, too. Yeah. I didn't say it. I just laughed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Some, I said some jokes really lost me, though, and it came across as, like, it came, from listening, it came across as a great performance in that either that album didn't, like, grab me the way that it should have, or that crowd was hot as fuck because people were laughing hysterically in that recording mm. and i was like it's kind of funny but yeah it's not um, that funny i rated it five out of ten i actually gave the same rating my the like here's the reason is he one thing he does that i can't stand is he laughs at all of his jokes yeah every once in a while i get it you're in the moment you're fucking you're throwing out your stuff there and you're gonna make yourself giggle every once in a while i Ma- get it making people laugh is funny yeah but he does it every joke the thing is my problem with him was the jokes were good. Yeah. And he had good, solid punches, like punchlines, right? But 
he would still keep mining the punchlines, like the add tags and tags and tags. Mm. The tags were never even close to the original punchline. Right. So I felt like if he would have just got in there, dropped the joke, dropped the punch, and got the fuck out of that joke and moved on, it would have been just amazing. But mm. he just kind of mined it. I don't want to say he beat like a dead horse, but it kind of felt like it sometimes. But other, yeah, it was entertaining, but. I enjoyed it, but yeah. I mean, I, also, if he was like playing around, I'd, I'd probably try and catch him live. Yeah. It was funny enough that I'd go see him. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I'd also go see Randy Fellface. I mean, who wouldn't? You know. But would you fuck him? Absolutely. Okay. I mean, I've already fucked a sock. Why wouldn't I fuck a sock puppet? <laughs> that's so. Wow. That's like so such true. good logic. I mean, <laughs> I can't fault it. Yeah. I mean, there's no. You should like, go on Rogan. You're like a scientist. <laughs> like, imagine yeah. being like, you know, like you're like a teenager. You're just you're fucking a tube sock, whatever. Then all of a sudden, somebody's like, "Hey, picturing it, w- imagining it. Would you rather fuck a tube sock that has a career with momentum?" <laughs> Oh yeah, and is Australian. That's kind of like oh, it's got uh, yeah. an accent. You got your cut. Co- right, Wolf does exactly, exactly my reason. I'm a sucker for an accent to be honest. Exactly. Unfortunately, not the Delco accent. So that's <laughs> that is honor. one of the worst ones. <laughs> not a fan of hoagie mouth. Yeah. Well, it's just everybody around. They're like, Yo! I don't like. Damn, it, dude, I wish I was attracted to this. It'd be so <sighs> sick. I'm gonna stay out of Delaware too. Then it Jesus bleeds into Christ. Delaware big time. We ble- yeah, we got hoagie mouth, and we also have crab cake mouth coming up from Maryland. Yes. Hoagie mouth is the perfect because if you when you say hoagie, <laughs> mm-hmm. I can do that. Like I'm like basically from I am like basically from Delco. Yay! <laughs> I mean, we're separated by a refinery down here. That's but pretty sometimes much it. fucking people from Delco they be like, "Oh, what are you from Jersey?" I can tell by your accent. I'm like, what? It's like what? What? That's bullshit. There's that. barely a distinction. I I think they're making shit up. Now, Thomas, this is what you gave me. Do you want to do music or comedy first? I always do. I always go comedy first. Let me go comedy first. You gave me an episode of Kill Tony, Speak of the Devil. Okay. Oh, wow. That's funny. The I bitch. forgot about that. It was the episode with uh, David Tell and Jeff Ross. Um, It was great. It was a good episode. And one thing that I actually kind of got teary and bitchy on, like I actually was like, oh. Was that some of these guys were getting up there, and some of them were like actually funny. There was one dude that had like no legs; he had like two prosthetic legs. And he Max actually has got no legs. He's actually had, but he actually had material. And there was another guy uh, that just had some like funny cancer jokes, but it was just funny. But uh, and then that was uh, like a high point. But uh, make a wish episode? What? <laughs> no, just you a regular see some of the mutants they bring in there. <laughs> <laughs> but like uh, a, t- a tell on sti- like while they were doing like come up and do they come in they do like a so- a minute, and a tell was just like laughing at everybody that came up, and he was just like hey 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 what are you doing Wednesday and they're like oh, I don't know and he's like I want you to come do a guest spot on my show I have, and he was just handing out like these golden tickets to come do like a feat like a. An open or a feature for probably a pop in like a pop in yeah, all- guest spots like five minutes yeah. yeah. Which like, is sick when it's Dave Attell, of all people. When a, when Attell played Helium recently, he uh, Naeem did a pop-in, and it was fucking awesome. Yeah, so I was like, like I was getting teary at that. I was like, oh, he's giving them opportunities. Like, and that was great. Yeah. Like, but, well, first off, I think Jeff Ross is losing it. I think so, too. He was way weaker on that episode. Do you know that guy they always bring up on To Kill Tony, uh, David Lucas? Yeah. He, they were doing back and forth, Jeff Ross, David Lucas roasting each other, and David David Lucas was bodying this guy, just like, just fucking killing him. I'm like, this is supposed to be like the, our generation's greatest roaster, and David Lucas just came on there and just fucking ran circles around him, and I was like, yeah, Jeff Ross is losing his touch, maybe it's all that underage pussy he's getting that (laughs) is fucking sinking, but yeah, like, but, like, the, the, the reason I don't listen to that podcast is... There's people that come up there and they bomb horribly, which is, I get it, it happens, mm-hmm. but I don't want to see it because, I don't I like it. no, because it's like, I, I like get it. like, these guys are like <laughs> really Same. like, these are people with dreams and shit and you want to watch them Sometimes. just come up there and just eat shit in front of not just like Tony Hinchcliffe, who's actually doing really, who's a really well-established comic, but David Tell and Jeff Ross, and you're going to sit there and 
eat shit in front of them. It's like they it don't was care. It was too awkward. So why would I? So it was awkward. So I got. Yeah, it's not like they're showing up to when you're about to go up on an open mic and they just happen to be there. They know yeah. what they're signing up for. Most people, the, the 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 people who don't understand what they're signing up for, even better. Like that's fair, but sometimes I'm just like. Oh, like I'm like I'm just in my head. I'm and like, they're getting all that attention. I'm like, that's gotta be fucking rough. I'd rather. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say I'd rather bomb in a front of a bunch of people and it means something than yeah. Get a lot of followers. I honestly, bomb by myself. I honestly wouldn't want to watch. It. I wouldn't want to watch any comedian bomb. Oh my god, I we can't be friends. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> but I, yeah, this is like a, I only I just watch bad clips. People hey, look, at open mics bombing all the time. <laughs> we don't. We don't have to go anywhere. I go to, we can watch I go to, bad well, here's the thing. I go to Philly's funniest. I'm like, better not Dude. be a night where everybody I know everybody. I he love was, to just go just and there. be like, oh, are they gonna run the light? Are Dude. they gonna run the light? He, I, I went on a good night. He was just there. meaning a bad night. No, a oh, great night. Yeah, see, he was just yeah. There. My friend, I went to one and it was like my friend was on. And I was like, I knew four people on the lineup. I was like, there's nobody good bad. You it's know? funny. Uh, he just went, and uh, one of our friends that's actually been on the podcast did it. Was on the show and ran he the ran light. The fucking light. <laughs> if he didn't, he probably would. Here's placed. the thing: like, if a comedian gets Everybody on there, says that. and I've he, seen them do good set, like I've seen a good set, and then they bomb. I, I'm like, all right, cool. Well, they can recover from this. But when it's someone that's like just a nobody that gets up there and just bombs, I feel bad. I have a conscience, so yeah, that's why I can't watch that show on a regular basis because I couldn't just watch someone get up there and just fucking tank on a regular basis it would just bum me out yeah it's sad thinking about all the people that think the saddest part about it is every single person that like gets up on stage and does comedy all delusionally thinks that they're gonna be like the next joe like that there's a possibility that they'll be joe rogan yeah exactly or they'll be dave tell yeah and that's what's sad about it because i've met people that have like quit their normal jobs to do com i'm like to do comedy, it doesn't pay you any money. Like, I do comedy all the time. I think I'm kind of funny. But I work I work, I work, work a full-time yeah. job. I don't pay my... There's no way I'm paying my bills doing comedy right now. Like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, that's the sad part about it. It's not that they're bombing. That's funny. The sad part is that they think they have potential. Mm. Yeah. And only probably, like, half of a fraction of a percent. I think actually it's could make it in comedy. I did yeah, just like I just can't get behind watching a show regular where like bombing is normally like a really high chance someone's gonna bomb, and it's like all right. All right, so what's but going on with the music though? Music, yeah. you gave what the fuck did you give me? You gave me a band. This made me angry. You gave me a band called uh, Fleshwater, and the album's called "We're Not Here to Be Loved." Now. This is a little inside baseball, too. Musically, this rules. I like it. Big, noisy, and often dissonant riffs with some busy drum work. Really good drum work, actually. And it's that's something I love in music. But it's funny that this reminds me of a lot of the bands that I've shown Tom over this... The course of this the show. The course of this show. And you've been like, nah, this sounds like sound guy music. This sounds like this. I'm like, if you took away like the... Like, if you change the vocals around a bit, it'd be the same fucking band. And, like, the fact that you like this but not that you see, makes me angry. You see, but they didn't, though. So. They're what they are. I just hate you. And, but one thing I hated about it was, I hate whispered vocals. It depends. It's I like, don't like it much either. Though. It's like, just speak up. God damn it. But, musically, I fucking love There's a male and a female singer. I prefer the female. Same. And... Because she actually actually sings, where the other guy just whispers a lot. I gave it an 8 out of 10. I'm, I really like it. Whisper in my ear. Almost. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It's like... See, I saw them at the Balance and Composure show, and she was fucking going for it at yeah, that dude. show. And she, it was, I was she's like... She's great. That's she's why, really good. That, that set was the reason I brought that record to you, because I was like, they fucking rocked a lot. Because that's also the first time I ever saw them. They're a fairly new band, but I was like, fuck, that was... That was really good. I need yeah. to sit with this full length, and then I brought it. It's a really good record. I liked it a lot. I gave it an 8 out of 10. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Yeah, they're freaking sweet. Where are they from? Uh, Massachusetts, I think. Okay. 
And are they somewhat newer? Because I couldn't find yeah. anything else. They just put their demo out three years ago. Yeah, okay, okay. Now. That's their okay. first record. All right, fair enough. All right, what about what I gave you? You assigned me two comedy assignments. I did. Uh-oh. And they're both Jim Norton records, speaking okay. of some yeah. of the best. We I hosted were, for Jim Norton. That's awesome. We were talking about... He just complained about how he didn't like Succession the whole entire time. <laughs> We he were, was like, are you watching Succession? Everybody likes it. I don't like it. <laughs> he's like, I'm hate watching it. And I, every That's day, such a Jimmy thing. Every night he'd come in and ask me if I was watching Succession. I'm like, I'm not. Watch, I don't have HBO. <laughs> it's not reality. I'm not going to Like, they don't it. pay. This $50 I make per show here is not paying enough to make it. To get Damn. HBO. We were talking about how, like, when I was younger, the only way you found new comedy other than, like, HBO was you had to go to the comedy section of record stores and buy albums. And these were just two albums that I bought off of listening to the Opie mm-hmm. Anthony show. The first one that you signed me was Yellow Discipline, mm-hmm. 2003. I listened to it twice. Oh. Track one, Vinny's awful intro. <laughs> the Midwest accent chunk was really funny. I thought I heard a Pat Fumanaki ah, ah, in there. You probably did. But it was... This um, is early aughts, so these both were recorded. Right. Uh, the funniest thing about Jim are his little act outs, like when he hits pu- hits punchlines. Happy birthday! Yeah, <laughs> like he he goes for it. He kept talking about his fat tits, <laughs> two day old bird pussy lips. He had about seven. He had about seventy five rape joke punchlines. Yeah. Uh, a member of the student body government came out to me, and you know what wonderful senses of humor they have. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I wrote down some of my favorites, like. You ever see guys so good looking, you just want to bend them over and put it in? <laughs> yeah, it seems Ted Bundy. He's so filthy. It's so amazing. Yeah. Yes. And the last note, God, I wish I could get a stinko Jim Norton talking doll. Oh. Six out of ten. Yeah, I remember the fucking the college thing we were talking about. Because like, he, he was talking about how he made a retard joke. And someone was like, you shouldn't make jokes like that. What if they were here and he was doing a col- college? He was at a college. He's like, at a college? <laughs> what's, what's the admissions no, test? Uh, yeah, what's the admissions <laughs> test? Shitting on the floor? Yeah. That was such a good bit. What did you say? So what, what about the other record? The second one was Trinkets I Own Made from Gorilla Hands. Fantastic 2005. Title. Opening joke, fucking spectacular. Yeah, I loved his unexpected ver- or one. Another thing I love about him is his unexpected vernacular. I was wondering where he'd go with the opposite of air conditioning, and he said, <laughs> <"Duck-> <laughs> "Let's it out. duct tape the windows and eat crackers." <laughs> 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 like uh. a moist pink slug, I wanted to pour salt on it and kill it. His, the OCD bits killed me. Yeah. He said, you know how they babble. My grandson went to Yale. No, I didn't. <laughs> his, his crowd interaction was on point. Lots of self-deprecation and only one rape joke. Eight out of ten. I like it. It's Less like rape, more points. Yes. It, it was funny. There was one crowd. It was not even like a crowd working. It was like a crowd reaction <laughs> thing. Someone was just like. I love you, Jimmy. He's like, oh, thank you, Miss. Thank you. <laughs> just like I, it, it, you can tell, like, yeah, of, it was very of the time in 2003. Yeah. It was kind of a crutch. Yeah, and he only did it once on this record, so yeah. I liked it more. Eight all out right. of ten, solid. All right, nice. all right, all right. Can I tell you a little Jim Norton thing? You sure of can. Of course. Um, he like would like want to go to the bathroom right before he came out so he was like can you do in between the feature and me bringing me out can you do like a minute Mm. don't do like more than a minute but do like at least a minute a man of pee pee breaks speaking and i it was like my second time hosting it's jim norton you know like i'm like oh my god this is like big deal he um made me are you leaving go ahead go I'll be outside. Uh, you're going to piss real quick. All right. Yeah. We'll try to pick it up on the mic. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? He was wanted to pee between oh, sets. So, but it was like, you know, it's like I would go up. I, I was like, this was years ago. It's like, I would go up. I did like an okay set. The audience liked me, but I was like nervous and I was greener hosting. And then I'd bring out the feature. He would crush. And then they're ready to see Jim. And then I'd have to go out there and like tell another joke. Mm. And or like try to riff off like of, ride the wave kind so of. like the first show like i tried like riffing off of the other comics set for like a minute but it was probably not like long it wasn't long enough so then i was like 
all right, like, are you guys ready for your headliner? Like, mm-hmm. whatever, bring him out. I'm just standing up there. He's like running. He like kind of rushes out and he's like, after the show, he's like, oh, I still had my pants at my ankle. Like, I'm <laughs> like, well, you're taking a piss. Why are your pants down? Um, <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't give a beetle. Yeah, m- yeah maybe pull um, it up uh, smoother. Dummy. But anyway, so he's like, do longer. And then I'm like, what do I have? To-? So I came up with a joke to do. It was about a minute. And then like, there was one of the shows where he just didn't come out and he just left me hanging on stage. And then like after the show, he was like, oh, I was, he was like, you did all right. I was just, I was standing there. I was ready to go. I just was fucking with you. And I'm like, well, what? The Motherfucker. Like, you yelled at me the first show. Like not yelled at me. It wasn't yeah. like a mean thing. He was just like, can you, he ribbed you. He's like, can you not, can you do an actual minute kid? <laughs> and then, wow. uh, and then the next show he just didn't come out. He let me like flounder on stage for another minute. <laughs> and then he was like, I was ready. That's pretty did, funny. He was like, you did it right. I just want to let you, fu- I just fucking with you. I'm like, Hey, dude. <laughs> who was featuring for him at that time? It was this guy, Rick Matthews. And he was, um, he's the guy from Buffalo. He's just, he's an older dude. He's, he's funny. Um, and I, you know, he's, you probably wouldn't hurt, have heard of him. He, I think he featured for him in Buffalo a couple times at the Buffalo helium and then All brought right. him down, but funny guy. I think the last time I saw Jim, his feature was Mary Ridzinski. Oh, Mary. She's the best. And I was, he, has, he assigned me her special several episodes I ago. Felt Very she's good. Great. Yeah. Mary is awesome. I'm going to Indy with her uh, Labor Day weekend to feature for her. Nice. And, rocks. Um, I'm so excited about it. She's one of my, f- she was doing comedy when I started. So I've like always been a fan. It was funny. Cause it was at this venue in uh, Wilmington, the Wilmington opera house. And the Wilmington opera house is staffed by volunteer senior citizens. Like there's no volunteer that works there that is under the age of like 75. So he comes out and starts talking about swallowing AIDS and shit. <laughs> and you just see these ushers and stuff while I still like, you know, like walking by and checking on people. And there's like looking over their shoulder yeah. back at the stage. I'm like, Jesus Christ, this isn't where, no idea. this is not where people saw his twilight years <laughs> going at all. So funny. Oh, sorry. I mean to keep you up there. Jesus. <laughs> on professional. It's all get, these it's, segments. Dude. It's going to get me going too. <laughs> now I did, I did ask you, if you have anything to bring us, to feel free to bring us a, a piece of music and a piece of comedy. And, uh, and you messaged me before, but for the for the microphones, like what would you like us to report on next week? Okay, well, I don't feel like Dennis is going to be happy with this. Because, Why? Okay, you'd be surprised. Sometimes he so surprises me. The comedy thing. This is why the comedy thing that I recommended was it's a set. Andy Kindler did. And I just was oh, talking about this recently to someone. This is just like a little thing about me is that there's this set of him bombing. I don't know when I first watched it or who like who sent it to me or if I just stumbled upon it myself. I watch this every time I bomb. And it's just like a just for laughs. It's from like 10 years. Yeah, it's 10 years ago. He is he comes at From doing comedy and knowing his, like, sensibility and how he... He's a comedian's comedian, you know what I mean? Like, he does, like, set up punch. He's a comedy nerd. He's a comedy writer. He's doing a Just for Laughs in L.A. It's like, I imagine that the comics before him either bombed doing their best material and he just came out and was, like, already in this state of mind of, like... Like the crowd was everyone's with gonna. Well, he was just like, if they didn't like these killers, they're gonna hate. If they're not understanding these jokes, they're mm. really gonna hate these corny one-liner I'm type situations. I'm curious what the lineup was before him. Then I yeah, I have no idea. I'm just saying, like you'll when you watch it, we'll you'll understand. you'll sense from the first joke that he knew how this was going to go. Mm. And he's very like, he was, he just keeps going the whole time. He's like, do you get it? It's a, <laughs> the setup is this. And then I say this, I'm changing this. And then that's the punchline. It was a, he was like, that's the joke. And by the end of it, he's just like, he's having he kind of ends, meltdown. he kind of ends the, in the, in a very, this is why I said you wouldn't like it. Cause you don't like people bombing. Well, if but it's like, he's an ex- funny. So it's like to watch a comic, bomb and you'll like the jokes yeah the jokes would work in a nerdy alt comedy room that's like hot and whatever but like in this 
he just came out and he was like, yeah. these people are going to hate me. Hmm. He knew it right away. It's so good. I don't like watching amateurs bomb. Like when it's a professional and they're bombing, I love that because normally they, when they get up on their guard, they are even funnier. And it's just like funny to watch like a professional, like a, especially someone with Andy Kindler who's been around since the 80s. Yeah. When you're just like, yo, he's bombing and like this is the way he deals with it. That is actually incredibly fun to watch. I love him. Like, um, I, one of the things I've seen, I was at the Traveling Virus show where Bill Burr did the epic Philly rant. Mm-hmm. So I watched a bunch of like really established comedians just eat shit. And I remember one of the last ones was Dom Herrera, who's a guy I've been watching with my dad since like, like the mid-80s. Yeah. And I watched him just eat his dick and then just watch, as soon as that was over, Bill Burr came out and was just like leaning into it. Like watching shit like that is fucking fantastic. Eleven minutes. Like when it's like war on the crowd, like that shit's fucking. Well, funny. there is a point in the night with comics or within your set where you go, I tried, yeah. and my best is me turning on the audience right now. Like yeah, that's the best exactly. I can do at this point. So. Like I refuse to admit defeat. This is not fuck m- all of it's you. It's not me. Shows. It's you guys. Yeah, like, yeah. But this is just this is a set that I've been I've been sharing this with. It came up recently it's, it's that on, I showed this to somebody. It's on and, YouTube. Yeah, it's it on is. YouTube. Okay. She sent us. Type video, in actually. Andy. Okay, Ki- cool. Type in Andy Kindler for the audience. Andy Kindler just for laughs, and it's the one from 2013. 13. And it's you'll know which one it is if you nice. watch it one minute and he's not angry. Then you're watching the wrong. <laughs> you turn <laughs> he, the wrong way. He's funny. He's a um, fucking. He's great. And then. I can't. I was gonna change my music one just okay. because of something that happened today. But sure. you can do the Indigo we'll do, we'll D'Souza do. is awesome, and um, well, the I think it was called, called All what? This Will End. Uh, wait, Indigo to what now? D'Souza Day, like Spanish. Okay. Souza S O U Z A. Okay. I suspect you will be a fan of that. Okay. It's kind of like girly. Love it, I'm on. You're speaking his language. Um, yeah. yeah, all this will end. And then today, I just bought tickets to go see the Breeders' last oh, Splash, Splash tour. Thir- 30th anniversary. Fucking yes. And yes. I was like, maybe I should switch my recommendation. There's so many songs on that album that are so good. I have that CD inside. Oh, it's so good. And like SOS, it's just like good rock instrument. Like it's not... And then, like, there's songs on it, like, Driving driving on Nine, which is just, like, sweet yeah. and simple and cute. And um, so, The Breeders, the, Kim Deal. Dude. You like The Pixies. You like The I Breeders. I fucking love The Pixies. Everybody loves the, the Pixies, but it's like, do you listen to The Breeders? I like The Breeders more I like than the I like more The Pixies. And I pixies. like Pod more than I like Last Splash, but it's like, if I'm going to... I literally <laughs> was at work... I got an email alert on my phone that was like Spotify. Like you follow yeah. certain artists. It's like, hey, here's a pre-sale ticket with their Ticketmaster. And I was mm-hmm. like, four minutes later, I text my friend. I was like, hey, I just impulse bought us two tickets to see the Breeders Smart. at Fillmore. Anybody want to come? You let me know. I saw a Kim Deal solo performance uh, before. Yeah. She it has that one song, great. like The Root or something like yes. that. And it that's also really, yeah, if you like Kim Deal. She also did a few Breeder down. songs and a few Pixie songs. Like, I know she closed with um, uh, Gigantic. But, oh, gigantic, dude, gigantic. the Breeders, the thing <laughs> that was weird for me was that, like, I remember buying the record because, you know, I knew who they were from the Pixies. But then, like, I also saw, like, all the songs that were getting played on MTV and shit. And those were the weaker songs on the albums. Yeah, I would say so. It was like the, every other song on there was like way better than fucking Cannonball. I was like, yo, this is. F- I fucking love the Breeders. Yeah, so. I'll be happy to blow that record next week. Another. I love that record. A, a good one if you're on a Breeders trip is. Do uh, you ever listen to Belly? Belly, no. It was uh, Tanya Donnelly, who was also a, like an original member of the Breeders. All right. And went off to their own out. thing. Uh, they have like f- three or four albums, but the Belly album Star is really good. If you're into that type of... Like, obviously you are. If you're yes. like the fucking breeders. But yeah, it's good stuff. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah I listened I listened to Last Flash on my way over here. And I was like... I was in, stuck in traffic. And then I was just like... Fuck yeah. <laughs> I like the breeders because it kind of... It kind of got away from the... The super weird Frank Black from the Pixies stuff. And just went more... I don't know. Just like not as goofy. 
Yeah, and as the lyrically, Pixies can tend it's to be. something you can like. It's not as abstract lyrically. Yes, it's like talking to you as opposed to like find yeah. the meaning in this. Like it's like oh you know. I don't know. Yeah, There's it's like, like, is he really talking about surfing, or is this something deeper? But the breeders, yeah, you're actually... They're just like, the song's on the like, nose. I just want to get along. Yeah. I just want to get along. Yeah, the breeders fucking <laughs> rule. Nice. Now, b- before we get into our homework, I don't want to forget, do you have anything to plug? Oh, yeah, plugs, oh, yeah. plugs, plugs, plugs. People should listen to my podcast. It's called Sidebar with Sarah Sidebar Bell. Sidebar podcast. Sidebar, one word. It's the only comedy podcast where comedians talk about stuff. <laughs> uh, that's what I, I think it's 100 percent true. That. You've had um, some good guests on there, though. I I listen to it. Yeah, it's fun. I have all the Philly. If you follow like any of the Philly podcasts, I've had uh-huh. they're all my dudes. I always have my dudes on, and then I have a bunch of like newer people on that are fun to talk to. So you should check it out. Nice. Um, and then I do a uh Thursday night, third Thursdays. I do a show with Lamarly. Me and him host mm. the third Thursday of every month, right? 12 steps down third thursdays um and then you can follow me on instagram sarabellum and um Cerebell, um and yeah, i also like, like my well, name but it's supposed to be like your brain oh like cerebellum i got see you. that's a thinker cerebral you'll get it on the way home. we'll put all the links and stuff oh, you already are in the description and stuff mm-hmm. <laughs> but also, yeah follow me and there's that uh i to, to the, today, the day of this episode, July thirteenth is tomorrow is comedy at the castle, with you and many other no. comics, isn't it? Oh wait, you're saying this is going to come out yes. July thirteenth? Correct. And yes, I will be at comedy in the castle the following day, the fourteenth of July. Brian Fennell's running a new show. He's very funny. It's going to be like I don't even know who's on mine. It's uh, the, there's two shows. They're all f- there's great. a lot of killers on there. Foster, Tata, anybody you like in the Philly scene, they're going to be on this show mm-hmm. this night. So you just, and then we're all going to hang out for both shows. So just come buy tickets to one of the shows, see your favorite Philly comic. It's Shit, be great. I might just have to do that. Yeah, I have, have to, to see you there. For that one. Do you have anything? Um, that's it for me, I think. Do you have anything to plug, Thomas? Besides this podcast and our yeah. Patreon? Yeah, go for it, bud. Patreon.com slash IRR and ILL. You can find it right here. Uh, bonus episode every Monday. We just did our third Is It Euro listening party. <laughs> and that came out on Monday. And we're going to have Drunken Guess Who pretty soon. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, let's see. What else is there? I like Drunken Guess Who because it's like they all get a little hotter as you get fucked up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and uh, now what do you have for me this week, Dennis? No, I have plugs, dude. What do you got a plug? Oh right, that so you're you gonna kill sh- yourself. My, you, kid? He's got shows coming up. <laughs> my you band shows. My band, Cancer Priest. If you guys like death metal, is uh, July thirteenth. We will be playing the House of Yarga in West Philly. Nice. With Ground, and then the next day, the fourteenth, we will be playing Shakers Pub in Long Island, also with Ground. All these shows are with Ground. And then the day after, we on the 15th, which is a Saturday, we will be playing the Shamrock Inn in Baltimore, Maryland, also with Ground. Uh, come hang out. Buy me liquor. Yeah, punch someone in the face. Have a good time. Yeah, what well, she said, see? Body more murder, Wear your man. diaper. You're not going to want to miss yeah. one second of this <laughs> not show. Miss not one. One second of that 30-minute set. You can't cork a pee-pee for that. Get yeah, poop. Do what you got to do. What do I have for you this week as far as homework? Yes. Now, all right, the comedy special wise is one I stumbled across recently. This is a, a girl I saw do, a, she's been on a lot of podcasts lately that I, I listen to, and I thought she was funny on that, and then she mentioned she had a special, so I went and checked it out. Now, look, when I saw her in this special, it get, she looks like Wayne from Wayne's World in her dress and mannerism, and that made me even more stoked on it, but it's actually super funny. It's this uh, a girl lady named ashley gavin Hmm. and the special is called live in chicago it's on youtube i didn't really know shit about her until she popped up on these podcasts live in chicago yeah and she's super fucking funny and it's a really good special and i can't really tell you more because honestly i don't know shit about her other than i'll tell you some stuff about her out there oh fair enough uh yeah i i enjoyed it (laughs) i enjoyed it thoroughly i thought it was really good and I hope you enjoy it as well, obviously. 
Uh, Musically is uh, something, one of my favorite bands, and one of their older records. Um, this the band is called Failure. Are you familiar? I am. And this album is actually a collection. It was originally released as four EPs, four short records, and then they released it again as a full record with all of them together. The record is called. This is long, so strap in. In the future, your body will be the furthest thing from your mind. Okay. And if you're into really spacey... He's like, colon. <laughs> yeah. If you're into really spacey future, stuff your body. about outer space and I'm, I'm drugs, so yeah, it's, it's fucking fantastic. It's one of Sounds my favorite records. I'm, I'm, I'm 13 years sober now and clean, but it does sound interesting. It is. It's very good. You, I mean, well, I'm not saying you got to be high to enjoy it. No, because they love her- they love heroin. I'm not a fan. They also have that record with the frog <laughs> on it, which is pretty awesome. It is. It's, it's a good record too. But it's I gave like you this our one. Boy Philippe. Damn, yeah, exactly. The small business owner Philippe, dude. Dead. What do you got for me this week, Tommy? Okay, comedy wise, I'm gonna okay. assign you an album that I just heard today. Okay. It's called Patty Cakes. Okay. The comic is Pat Birch Bertscher. So you guys spell that. B U R T. S C H E R. Album is called Patty Cakes. I found it on YouTube. Uh, I tried to listen to it because I saw. I <laughs> That's not a good. Not a good endorsement. Listen, 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 listen. I saw him, like I saw a clip of him on somebody's podcast, and I was like, that was pretty funny. I listened to the the whole episode, and I was like, I think I like that guy. I'm gonna find what he's got. I found this. And I wasn't in a good mood when I tried it the first oh. time, so I was like, ah, fuck this, I'll do something else. But I listened to it today, and I was like, nah, it was really funny. Okay. So, All the right. record is called Patty Cakes, it's from 2021. And it's on... YouTube. Gotcha, okay. Like, maybe I don't hate comedy, maybe I'm just always in a bad mood. <laughs> Sometimes, if I, if I listen to something on a different day, or a different time of day, or like, if I change even one thing about the environment, I can totally change how I feel about it what i'm listening to wow that's nice Mm. like if i really want to pay attention to something i'll listen to it in the gym or like on a walk or something because i can actually turn my body off the the worst mood i'm in the better a comedy album will hit for me huh so anytime really anything that'll possibly (laughs) bring me out of it yeah and music wise okay uh i've been skewing soft so i'm going to go back and give you hard stuff the band i've brought them up before is called sinister feeling Ooh. from baltimore that sounds sketchy (laughs) It's not at all. Okay. They have they have two releases out, and they have a 2023 promo, and they have a 2022 demo. So it's probably seven. Want me songs. to find bo- listen to both? Yes. So pretty much since the feeling everything they have. Yes, it's probably Every... about twelve minutes total investment. Oh god, if I'll ever find that time. <laughs> I'm just thinking about someone taking me home and the, we're about to go into the bedroom and he's like, I'm skewing a little soft, so let's... <laughs> that sounds like something I would say. I'm in a soft but, mood today. Yeah. I'm but like, you, I'm going to break out the toys. I'm skewing a little soft but if you lately. Get, but if you give me eight minutes, I'll give you that sinister feeling. Oh, God <laughs> oh, boy. damn it. Oh, that was loud. Jesus Christ, I don't feel good about it either. Uh, we could have had sound effects. Well, he deserved four more of those throughout the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'd get mad if it wasn't fucking warm. You warranted. could have been making sound effects during the Joy <laughs> DJ section. Damn, man. Applause. Coming from you my You weren't throat. doing any meow, 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 meow. I don't have that one. Oh, Going for my fucking dreams, man. That's what I got. Now I know what those week. people on Kill Tony feel like. Yeah. You guys going against my JOI fucking. <laughs> Sarah, thank you for coming. Bro. Yeah, thank you guys thank for you having me. This was for... fun. Hell yeah. I am irrelevant. I am illiterate. And I'm cute as hell. Aww. So everyone should follow me. You guys are great. Thank you very much. Time to hit time. the intro music. Uh-huh.